And we're live! Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Um, this is where we play new games on classic consoles. And with me, we have Corey, you can see above. His hey, how's head. it going? And I'm James. And uh, Corey has never played Homebrew. He has played a lot of Atari 2600. <laughs> a <laughs> lot. You? This is my first exposure to, to homebrew, though. Uh, just the whole idea of new games for an old platform is super exciting to me. So Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, you've been playing the games from the 80s forever. Mm -hmm. and... Yeah, holding on, holding on to my past with Iron <laughs> Gret, yes. Yeah. And one of, your, one of your favorite games is Frostbite, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I, could, I can soundly say that he's amazing at Frostbite. <laughs> and he was actually playing it just before the show. Not Twin Galaxies raking amazing. Uh, no, but, but you know, <laughs> it gets up there. It's higher than the average person. <laughs> Fair, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, I thought today instead of... Like, usually we play either new ones, new games that are coming out or being developed. Okay. Um, or we go back and play for high scores on games that we've already showed on oh, the cool. show. Oh, cool, okay. Like, there's some homebrew competitions online. Um, but today we're doing something um, a little special because you've never played homebrew. Nope. Is that we're going to do like a kind of a best of show. Oh, cool. It's like these are games we've played before on the show and that these are ones that I really like playing. And you sent me like your genres that you like to play. Right, my favorites kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. And I tried to tailor it as oh, much okay. towards those things. Um, so I've, we've got a, a kind of a mix of games. Um, cool. I did my best, but no, <laughs> we'll see no, I'm are. just excited to try anything, right? And, and even even if they aren't for like the ones that you like, they're still really good games. So these are kind of my favorites too. And everything on this platform is like skill based, which is the most important thing to me. And yes. I'm not I'm not gonna get upset because I don't like the theme. I'm like I don't. <laughs> I don't like ninjas. <laughs> it's, it's ninjas fine. aren't my thing. Yeah. <laughs> So, hello to everybody out in the chat. Thanks for the uh, welcomes, guys. I yeah. appreciate that. Hello, Arena Foot. Hello, Thrust26, Ice Posta, and all the lurkers who aren't typing. Um, because there's a lot of people that watch the show, and like when I watch shows live, I don't type. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. On some of the Twitch channels, because, you know, maybe I don't have anything to say, nothing to contribute, oh, or everybody's enough. saying stuff that uh, I would say anyway. Contributors are fun. That's cool. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Um, and actually, I'd like to thank some Twitch subscribers because some people are foolish enough to give me money. <laughs> nice. Um, so, you said that out loud. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> supposed to say that. <laughs> um, Mr. Fix, uh, Soundtrack78, and Jeffrey2123. Oh, Dianoid's in the channel. Welcome, Dianoid. And we're going to be playing one of his games. Oh, sweet. Later on. Are you yes. ready for me to suck at your game? <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> Hello, Dianoid. And um, and actually, I have some exciting news that I can't talk about. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> so, I, so I'm going to talk about it in a roundabout way. Okay. Okay, so yesterday, I think I told you this, but I can't, but don't say anything. Because I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to reveal it yet. Um, yesterday after the show, I was contacted by somebody that everybody in the chat knows. <laughs> okay. Um, about some new homebrew that he's developing that we will be getting exclusive premieres on in upcoming shows. Fantastic. And this is really exciting. <laughs> really exciting. So... Um, I will reveal as it comes, um, and it's actually two, two new homebrews, so I don't know if that gives any hints, or it probably doesn't, because I'm being very uh, vague, <laughs> very vague, because I have to right now, because he didn't say whether I could talk about any of this or not, Right. and I don't like to, you know, uh, blow anything. And, and <laughs> you should go like a step further and be like, he, she states. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Oh, hello, Wink Dot. Welcome. Hey, another developer. Hey, look who's here, J Wink Dot. Oh, wait, that's right. Um, ye la yesterday, I was going to say last show, but that was actually yesterday. Okay. We played one of Wink Dot's games. Let me just bring up my info. Okay. 
Um, it was... Because I have the worst memory, by the way. If you grew up with Atari, we're all in the same boat. Right? <laughs> we're all headed there. Oh, come on. Where the hell is it? I cannot wait for retirement homes where there's <laughs> where there's not a gramophone sitting on the corner of it. Instead, there's like a shiny 2600. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be amazing. All video games all the time when we retire and have all the consoles there available for us. Orb. Yes, thank you. I just found it. Okay. Um, Orb. We played Orb yesterday on the show. Okay. And um, we were talking about, like, this one, this game is from 2015. Okay. <clears throat> and we, this was a work in progress game, so it wasn't finished. Oh, okay. And we were like, oh, we want we want it finished, and, and nobody has heard from the... Um, from the maker of the game for a long time and uh, they were they had an illness actually uh, that took them out of the scene for oh a while. okay fair um, enough so we were really Sorting worried about yeah worried about wink dot and uh hello and he's 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 here so hey wink dot. That's, that's awesome, awesome that you're able to join us and because we were all a little bit worried about that but uh, hope you're feeling yeah. better yeah hope you're yeah. feeling better well enough to join us so that's really awesome um, so today's, uh, actually, today's video games that we're going to be playing mm -hmm. uh, is Juno First. That's the first one. Space Shooter. Okay. Kind of a, a first-person perspective, three-quarter view um, space shooter. Nice. And I kind of thought that would work because you mentioned something about that well well i like i uh i love games like like moon sweeper where you're coming in on the surface of a planet that's what I this is think, yay so <laughs> uh, so i thought this one would be really appropriate for you perfect uh the second one is wall jump ninja which is um kind of a sideways platformer -ish. okay it's got a, it's a bit of a twist um we'll see it when it comes up uh, the third one is Amoeba Jump, which is a platformer, an endless vertical platformer. Um, nice. Very akin to a lot of um, like cell phone or tablet games. Where That's you just, what you're comes jumping. to mind. Yeah. yeah. And it actually was adapted from one. Uh, a, a cell phone game and made for the 2600 so that's fun cool one of my one of my favorite uh phone games that is a constant upper is uh ninja up which is all pixeled as well oh and nice you draw little trampolines under them and stuff so those kind of games i'm totally into this should oh, be cool. perfect you'll yeah. love this one this one is masterfully made i have a question yes um Anytime you guys play Juno first, do you always make sure it's the first game you play? Or is it weird <laughs> if it's like the last one? It is. You can't okay. play it last. If <laughs> Juno first has to be first. And I didn't even think about that. That's some brilliant marketing. Yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, Amoeba Jump is actually a Dianoids game. So oh, the Dianoid 2600. Sweet. So he'll be able to give insight into the game as we play it. Okay. And then the last one is Draconian, which we played a lot on the channel because it is unbelievable i hear huge praise for it when i'm on like the atari age groups and stuff and i oh, just like my god hear people talking about homebrews which is the whole thing that spiked my interest in the first place and that's that's like the staple name that i seem to hear or read all the time yeah, yeah. and it's made by daryl spice jr who is an amazing programmer who pushes the, the limits of the atari 2600 that's and, cool and all the support people uh uh part of it i sposta uh, okay that name there yeah he did the audio and voice in the game. It has built-in real-time voice while you're playing the game. Like on a twenty-six hundred synthesized voice or like, like digitized act voice. Oh, in the game <laughs> without external hardware. Because I do have a voice module that works with Juno first. That is like the IntelliVoice add-on. Yeah, right. Except this one's for the Atari 2600. Yes. It's a yeah. modern thing, though. It was not made back in the day. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I didn't think it was because they sure <laughs> louded IntelliVoice as like the thing, right? Like, exactly. B-17 Bomber, I think, whatever it was. <laughs> B-17 Bomber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's the equivalent for the 2600. But he didn't use that, or I suppose he didn't use that, and put it right in the game, and it plays while you're playing. No slowdown. It's crazy because you have to like change the frequencies every scan line on the on the screen and alter it so it makes a voice. Super low res, uh, of course. Well, but, of course, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> but, but but that 
that's that's amazing. Like I'm, I'm unbelievable. I'm, I'm I'm picturing limitations where you put the cartridge in and like the console just like catches fire. <laughs> that's that's like... a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's get into it. I put all these on um, the multi cart. Right, makes sense. Uh, um, just to make it easier, so I don't have to open packages and stuff. Mm -hmm. So these are all. Uh, I have the boxes here, so we can take a look at the boxes. Yeah, I, 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 a little later on, I'd love to just like peek at the boxes. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be fun to do absolutely no research <laughs> when coming to this. That's the best way. Yeah. I, always, I always have my guests come in just totally blind to what games we're playing. Yeah. And and just announce them on them so that they don't really have any clue what's going on. Well, the the first time I was uh, I was uh, ever exposed to like console video gaming was when my cousin got their uh they got their own television right and uh, and, and uh, you just got yeah. to discover it game by game and uh this yep. is the first time since that part of my childhood <laughs> even just sitting here where i've got like this little like little butterflies uh, no. it's like because i mean it's 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 i don't know I'm, it's different right? yeah it's, it's, i'm it's over dramatizing maybe a bit but that's <laughs> that's okay so let me switch over to our uh game screen sounds good I should oh, let you hello, navigate Impaler that. Hello, Impaler seventy four. Welcome again. Oh, a second. Oh, because you have to didn't hold, down. hold the button down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because if you don't hold the button down, it recognizes this as a paddle, and obviously this is not a paddle, and doesn't work as a paddle. <laughs> I keep turning it, but it's just not working. It, just because it has extra buttons, I think, and it just doesn't understand unless that is held down. But that's probably. I still incorrect. think it was very nice of Sega to, to use the same pin <laughs> style of plug. It was very nice. Oh, oh, you know what? I have the sound of the game muted. There we go. So let me just restart that, actually. This little hard rock beat kick in there. Yeah, this has great music, actually. I'm going to turn it up. Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite tunes on the 2600. <laughs> oh, those muted power chords. They're <laughs> power <laughs> chords. <yeah. laughs> okay. Okay. So it's it's a basic shooter. Um, okay. So shoot everything. Shoot everything, but you can, I believe, pick up pick up little guys on the surface as well, but. Um, Oh, like like defender sort of thing. Yes, but it's a you know it's a flat forward um, looking thing. So. Oh, okay. Again, like this is the one you were saying is kind of like Moon Give Cory a real Atari joystick to play. No, nine, not happening. <laughs> I, I had requested that for my Frostbite game earlier because I'd already started with a thumb pad, and I, I, I was not nearly as good with the thumb pad. Uh, did pretty good though, still. <laughs> um, but I think. The thumbpad will be fine for this game. Well, yeah, if it's, it's mostly it's, side to side, then it's yeah. It's a four directional mo smooth move mover. I think for like precision jumping, you need joysticks for that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I like Hubert with a thumbpad just makes me want to pull my oh, hair no. out. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hubert is not good yeah. with a thumbpad. That is the worst. Pick up humans. Yes. Okay. Okay. Should I just? Yep. Go for it. Go in. Yep. All right. So I do have the Atari Vox, so it should come through. Oh, I've got elevation differences too, or is that speed? No, 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 no. It's not like Zaxxon. It's okay. just oh, forward just... and back, and you can see the the remaining people up, uh, remaining ships up at the top. Oh, yeah, you shoot that and pick up the. Um... It's actually you're picking up the enemies and you're capturing them. It's Sweet. Not, so there's rescuing. torture afoot. Oh yeah. <laughs> So that, that thing you shot that was round, yeah. that revealed a, um, the enemy, and you had to pick him up, but it went past him. One thing I immediately notice is the ability to move back is incredible. Yes. So you can oh. kind of back away from if it's getting too hectic. If I keep backing up, though, they're going to keep coming, right? So I should probably keep moving forward. Um, you can do uh, either way. Okay. Um, there's not. It's not going to penalize you. I, I believe I... if you move back, they may smack into the back of you. Oh, is it like? So. Is it like an infinite? Is it infinite waves though, or is there like? No, you okay. will be able to defeat all those guys that are at the top. There, oh, get shit. that human. I shot it. Oh, 
Oh. oh. <laughs> I sprayed it with my debris. You there did. we go. <laughs> okay, we'll get this. We'll get this. Where's my Juno First manual? Oh. I can't file. answer this question. Um, <laughs> but uh, one thing I'm loving about it, too, is... Uh, oh. Chill out there, Corey. You don't have to just run right in, everybody. Um, <laughs> the... Uh, um, uh, I, I, I feel like a sense of panic and foreboding almost in a Galaga-like way when you see them swoop down from the sky in the background. Oh, That's amazing. Yes, yeah. It's really It's not just like they scroll on... Oh, oh, I have to shoot it first, then yes, pick it up. Okay. Yes. So go for it again while I find the manual. That's good, because I don't think any of that was must-see TV. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Wow, that was even worse than last time. Yeah, so you may want to not go super fast through yeah. it. Because then it goes it gets really crazy. Yeah, it's this is Oh. Come here, alien. There Yay! You go. Hyperspace. There so you're safe. So you can just go nuts. What do you mean I'm safe? Like I'm I'm like I, Mario Star? Yeah, right? I believe so. Okay. It's been a while since I've played this. Let if me I just... die, I'm going to be so disappointed in you when okay, you say I'm invincible. Yeah, you're not in hyperspace <laughs> yeah. anymore. How did I know I wasn't in hyperspace? <laughs> I, I, I missed that. Um, oh, like the that? The screen change. Nope, nope, oh. nope, 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 nope. Oh, that was just a different stage. So let me read about Game hyperspace. Game over. 9,800. Good job. <laughs> not enough for the high score. You have to get 20,000. Those are all... Can I take one more crack at it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Shooting an alien sphere will release an astronaut. Collect this astronaut believe, before it leaves the screen to enter hyperspace. Oh, In hyperspace, the gotcha. aliens will start stop firing. Nice. So you're not invincible. They'll just stop firing at you. <laughs> that, either one that, of those eh? is okay. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, so it is in auto fire mode. Um, so oh, I'll... good. That's helpful to know also. So there, that makes it a little bit easier. Yes. Corey is a very skilled gamer, Dianoid says. He oh, thanks. He plays a lot of games. Um, especially old school ones, so... Yeah. It will translate very well to the homebrew, I think. It is so far. I love this game. This is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, Ice Bosa says it's not talking. Uh, yeah, sorry uh, about I, I that haven't, again. I haven't heard any voices. Well, we won't Wrong hear game, it. sorry. Wrong no, game. No, no, no. Yeah. We won't hear the voices because of the way it's hooked up through my speakers. Oh, they can because I have to mute them? it, because otherwise we tear ourselves through the microphone and the game coming back at us again. Hyperspace! Yeah, not so shooting now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Over. Okay. And Hence done. the flashing screen. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I got it. Yeah, this, the swarming is quite disconcerting in a good it way. It says hyperspace and speaks it, but we can't hear it speak. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Let me yeah. take a crack at it. Totally. I broke ten thousand, so we're getting there. It's it's, it's a oh, it's that was a good that was stop. Very close. Put on the brakes immediately. And uh, some of my favorite games are shooters. So oh, nope. Oh, oh, it's still there. Oh, it refreshes it backwards too. That's amazing. That's nice. Yeah. So it has uh, memory backwards. So that's really cool. Up to a point, I'm sure. It's funny. Most NES games, I would like to have a backwards memory. Shooter, right? <laughs> yes. Like, nope. Oh. Other than that, they remember the wrong things. They don't give you the thing you were going back for, but they're sure happy to regenerate the enemy. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That is frustrating. When... I guess it works for some games when it's like uh, they'll they'll bring back the enemy over and over and over if you yes. go into the room again. That does happen a lot on 2600 games because yeah. there's no memory to keep whether you've killed the last 50 out of the 100 men. Right. Um... Seemed like pointless semantics back in the day. <laughs> One more. Yeah. You're doing excellent. Look at you have about 14,000. Very already. much. Well, I've had a bit more practice. Yeah, Whoa, kind of tracking play. bullets? What's up with that? Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When you get high enough, it turns to badness. That's oh a, my god. So don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. You, you only want one game? After, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, it's all about you today. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> nice. And I'm an only child, so this works for me. Nips. Oh, Drexel's in the chat. Hello, Hey, Darcy. how's it going, Drex? Uh, your guest is too skilled at this game. I object! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I will have to fix the Atari box off 
screen. Nobody wants to watch me fix it on screen. Sounds sounds riveting. Yeah, me turning yeah. off and on the system, <laughs> listening for a voice, pressing buttons on my mixer. Yeah. Not good. Well, now, the, the techies will love it, right? Like the people who are on the will. tech side of it, yeah. Yeah, I could point the camera at the mixer and they can all tell me which buttons to press. <laughs> Actually, you would be the, probably the best person to know what to do for that. Because you use Me. mixers a lot. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> right? It's been a while, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have used mixers yes. a lot. Um, the problem is, not that I don't... Well, I don't know what all the buttons do on the mixer. But, I do get it set up. And then I have two cats, as everybody has seen in, in, the, uh, in the chat and watching the show. They walk across the mixer. Ah, your mixer gets pixelated. And it goes... <laughs> Yes, and they press the buttons. So, yeah, you're doing better, right? You're hitting the 10,000 again. Yeah, but 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 we're hitting a 10,000 wall. May I try <laughs> one more time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, it might be worth noting that I have ADHD, and I'm, like, chatting and multitasking <laughs> at the same time. It's like, I should have taken my riddle in. I totally forgot. I'll do that during the show, actually. Ooh. Not, not not like it's an event. I'm just saying, like, like, like it'll... it'll Focus me up a little bit. <laughs> We've scheduled the riddle and taking for <laughs> noon. <laughs> Everybody tune in. All of a sudden your channel is pulled for like uh, promoting drug use. <laughs> it's all legal, man. It's prescribed. <laughs> right. This game is amazing. Drex, have you uh, played this game? I don't know if we played it. The problem is my guests are all staggered. So oh, some yeah. play some games and some play other games. Gotcha. They don't get to play all the games. Some, so, uh... So always remember to play this one first. <laughs> That's right. Juno first first. Oh. oh, yeah. Those are the homing ones. If there was a sequel, I know it seems like obvious, but it's kind of the elephant in the room. Like, would it be Juno second or would it be called something else, I wonder? Juno the Return. Yeah. Juno 2. Electric Boogaloo. Um, <laughs> Juno again. Um, re, re, Juno returns. Reproduce it for a newer platform and have Juno Reactor do the soundtrack. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. That'd be good. Um, this was an arcade. 10,000. <laughs> That's the magic freaking <laughs> suck number. Hit it, there's something that happens in the game that just prevents oh that was great not I, happening I, I saw nothing and neither did anybody here that's right yeah. it didn't happen there's a glitch in the game i have a i have a, 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 a almost like a poll question for people yes. um, um what um what's the percentage of time like like when you know you're good at a game you're really good at the game and um how much how much mulliganing do you do? Like where, 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 like you lose a man early, and you know you can recover from it and still have a great oh, game. Yeah. But your your momentum's gone, and you feel like shit. How many of you um, will mulligan it and hit reset, even though you've got no real reason to, other than a bad first man? <laughs> if, well, for me, if I'm going for high score, like going like hardcore, like doing competition style kind yeah. of stuff, I I'm more obviously more ready to reset. L because yeah. it's pointless continuing on if it if you're at a point where it's like no I will not make it yeah there's no point um, unless I'm needing practice at a certain point right. like oh well this will be beneficial to test out like level five again because I'm not super amazing at level fair five enough or yeah oh, oh look I at you no, splitting the defense but you split the defensive line there you were like not super intentionally I was going for the guy but I just flew too fast and it's like the Atari equivalent of like surfing the half pipe <laughs> or, 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 or or like under the wave right like, yeah you're doing excellent I am actually I'm gonna get on the board so I still have two lives and how the homing missiles don't get me to the 20. Oh, um, Drex is playing the dishwasher game. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. Are you installing a dishwasher? Are you loading the dishwasher? Uh, not many people know this, but the dishwasher game is actually the long-awaited <laughs> sequel to, uh, fast food. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There we go. Hyperspace. Or Burger Time. Burger Time, yeah. Which is an excellent game. Burger Time's an amazing game. The, the... And fast food. Yeah. The, um, whoa, 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 that was close. The, the idea that food can hurt you, though, as a, <laughs> as a portly person, I always found a little bit uh, unsettling. At least in a game like Pressure Cooker, uh, you're, you're accidentally hurting the food and being punished for it. 
you're because you're making the wrong food and the other ones the yes. food is coming after you <laughs> the revenge of food burger time is the ultimate vegan game because everything with meat wants to kill you <laughs> yes so it's you know it's it's fine to kill it because it's self-defense and the french right? fries which could be vegan <laughs> yes. are, are are help you out if i remember correctly Oh no, there aren't French fries. I don't think there's French fries. Uh, I mean, you have bad. salt and pepper. Yes, yeah, salt right? and pepper. That's right. your yeah. that's your kind of weapon. I'm other going than, to season you. Other than squishing them in the bun. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting super off topic. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. Pretty pretty on topic. It's video yeah. games. <laughs> oh. I'm doing you, excessively you, yeah. well. You rock the party that rocks the party. <laughs> okay, um, um, I'm going to a 90s... Um, concert later tonight. Now, wh who's playing? CNC Music Factory. Which, let's address that. <laughs> There's only <laughs> one C left, so it's kind of C Music Factory. <laughs> one of them has only passed one, away. Only one C is happening. Yeah. Um, Young MC, which is the only reason I'm going for. Who we Damn it. addressed earlier is now Old MC. But... <laughs> old MC! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, it still has my name in it. Oh, oh. fifth. Jeez. Hey, oh, Muffin, you're on the board. <laughs> yep, but it was like my third best score. That's pretty okay. good. Um, we have to move on. Let's do to it. To the next game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, bust a move. <laughs> Which is yeah. Wall Jump Ninja. Hold down the button if you can, please. Oh, yeah, it's there. On a mission, and I'm wishing someone could care our lonely condition. <laughs> Can we guess who the famous developer is that will release two new games on this show? No, it's not on this show. Not on this episode. It will be no. on this show, but I don't know when it will, they'll be released. Right. And Boy, would you be in a crap storm if you were like, yes, it's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I would announce them well before. Right. Like, this is, this is huge. Like... I, I have to Massive. agree. I have to agree. It's pretty exciting. I, I feel like you only told me half half of that. Uh, um, yeah, because you mentioned one game, but not necessarily the I didn't say the, the other one. Yes, I'm also Tell terrible at keeping secrets. I'm just going to shut up and stop talking. About <laughs> Tell it Corey's scores are saved on the Atari box. Yes, they are. Oh, cool. so if you get a high score, it's forever saved on my system. So since I have I have not contributed a high <laughs> score, then you know, my memory will just have to live on with you, folks. <laughs> That's right. It's it's in the stream. It's out remember the Corey. Ether. Oh yeah, he was the ten thousand guy. <laughs> he hit the wall and broke right down. But, but damn, was he consistent? Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> he was really I'll, good I'll at getting the tenth. Under, Actually, underway. you go oh. to the date. Just go to the twenty third. Oh. Okay. Because uh, I it makes it so much easier. And then Wall Jump Ninja one point one. Okay. Um, I guess his initials are D K because I, I won't confirm or deny anything because I can't, I, he hasn't said whether I'm allowed. I can't keep secret anymore. It is Donkey Kong. It is yes. Donkey Kong that yeah. is making these games. <laughs> yeah. He's sick of being in the games. He'd rather make his own and he's going to torture Mario a and, lot. And he has so much time on his hands because he doesn't, he isn't the act of Donkey Kong that's playing right now, right? He's Cranky Kong. <laughs> that's true. He has, so, he has yeah. aged. Yeah. So <laughs> I think it's the first one. Okay. Because uh, there's like NTSC, PAL. Yeah, that looks good. Let me set up the proper. Okay. There we go. We want lava and we don't want hard. Left left and right. This is sounding Xboxy. Those yeah. are the left if Oh, right the, difficulty. the depth switches. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Drift King. Yes, it's Drift King. Uh, Drexel. Yes, there's a flash ROM in the Atari box which keeps the data. Yes, it does. Nice. So, oh, this. This is pretty awesome it, oh yeah and i have the world record in this game if you did not know intimidating but sure <laughs> that's great uh 67 rooms as you can see on the just press a button okay it, 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 it there's there's no damage oh. uh obviously for touching okay. any point in the wall 67 <laughs> so it's not gonna turn into berserk part way through and electrocute me like, uh like, are there walls i can't touch there is a moving wall that's coming for you at all times of course um, there is so if you delay too long there's only one button in this game there's only one thing, and it's pressing the button, right? Oh, the, the joystick does nothing? Oh, it's joystick all momentum, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I will play this game one-handed. Yep. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> the I can't do you, that. <laughs> The longer you hold the button, the higher your jump. Okay. So that's that's about it. Just <laughs> button yep. to start. Just the button yeah. starts. There you go. 
You did your first one. Yep. Oh. There's the electric wall, and it's going to kill you. Yes, it is. And wow, it that's... doesn't wait long, does it? Okay. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Now, I'm going to, um, for Corey's benefit, I'm going to use the definition of homebrew from the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 2. Okay. Which was written by Arena Foot. Uh, this book gotcha. is in the chat right there. Um, so you will know what homebrew is. What are the ends? Uh, oh, yes, that's right. Those are power-ups. And when you spell ninja, you get forwarded 10 screens. Cool. So you do want to do that, and you do not want to slide down into the lava. So you want to get that in. There you go. And get out of that room. Awesome. One hand for button, the other hand for drink, I suppose to say. <laughs> That's right, it's a good drinking game. Oh, though there are ah, spikes. There are yeah. there are other dangers. There's also little what we call plumb bobs <laughs> that okay. go up and down. A plumb bob is a thing for leveling and that hang hangs off a string, but there's no string in this game. Um, yes, your book, Arena Foot. Okay. Um, so what is a homebrew? Oh, actually, he takes it from Wikipedia, so... Okay. This is second-hand <laughs> knowledge. An Atari 2600 homebrew, short for Atari 2600 homebrew game, is a video game designed for the Atari 2600 by an independent developer following the discontinuation of the console in 1992. So It sure hung on, didn't it? <laughs> it's still going. No, no, but oh, I mean, mean like, yeah, re retail-wise, yeah. I think it is the longest um, system longest you know active system from 1977 to 1992 it's pretty awesome at that where games were still being developed for you watching <laughs> there sorry, no, sorry i'm just like mesmerized yeah adhd i'm so <laughs> sorry it's squirrel yeah. yeah the first 2600 homebrew was wit written in 1995 since then over a hundred homebrew titles have been released no that's totally incorrect <laughs> there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds yeah I don't know when this was written. There's an active community of Atari 2600 homebrew developers. Here they are in the chat. Hey, homebrew developers. Um, the largest among the classic video game homebrew communities. So Atari 2600 is the most active of, um, of the gaming systems that people are making games for. Okay. Second, which might surprise you, I think is Vectrex. Oh, okay. Um, because of its uniqueness and its like vector-based drawings, yeah. And, um, and I think third would probably be NES, um, but I'm not sure on that. Interesting. But most likely, just because of its popularity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the mo the majority of homebrew games are unlicensed clones of arcade games. Yeah, which is um, the Juno first and Draconian that we'll be playing later. Unlicensed clones of. Um, oh. Like things that were in the arcade. Oh, okay. They usually yeah. changed the name of it. Juno First was not changed. Um, okay. But a lot of them, because some of these were never put on the 2600. And people were like, I want yes. it on the 2600. Why didn't little... you make it? And we have Ladybug as well. Um, yeah, which which needed to be on the 2600. I waited my entire <laughs> Atari 2600 like childhood for Ladybug. I love yeah. the dot games. Yes. I love. I, it's I, had such a good twist on a dot game. Yes. And a lot of complications and 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 um. Yeah, second is Vectrex. Yes. Yeah. And the curator of the the list, Arena Foot, is the keeper of the list of homebrew games. Nice. He has a complete list of every homebrew and hack that has ever been put out for the 2600. Cool. So it's a very good reference. Uh, go for Major. it again. Okay. I'll keep keep reading. The majority of homebrew games are unlicensed clones of arcade games, personal computer games, and games from other consoles. But there are also ROM hacks and original titles. Um, and ROM hacks are games that have already been put out but they want to change the... Yeah, there is an invisible wall up high. So you Apparently. Can't just, can't just, like, jump really oh, high. I missed the end. Oh, oh. There's more. Um, so if somebody wanted to change the look of Pac-Man... Yeah, the they can Pac-Man substitute kind of thing that I heard about. Well, that's different. Okay. Um, this, I'm talking about hacks. Oh, um, hacks, Where they sorry. want to just change the graphic of the Pac-Man, that's a hack. Without changing, you know, the gameplay or anything, but they're building on somebody else's game. That's a hack. Yeah. Instead of a homebrew. 
Although they give you me the Trump head Pac Man or something. Exactly. Okay. You know, a little blonde quaff of hair at the top and an orange face. It like could... with Wolfenstein 3D when they used to have it be in all these different settings. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. That would be that would be a, a hack. Um, there's also ah. different. Yeah. Don't hold it down too hot, too long, and then you can do a small kind of horizontal jump. That was okay. not the time to do it, but. <laughs> Okay, continue on. Um, Sorry. Several homebrew games have received attention outside of the homebrew community, such as when they made Halo 2600 for the... Yeah, that sounds intriguing. <laughs> it, it is a flat 2D... Oh, of course. But they yeah. put in the graphics, and they put some of the ideas into the game. That's great. So it's kind of cool, and of course it gets a lot of attention when that happens. Um, some have been, even been featured on an Atari 2600 game anthology produced by Activision. So they've been, like, some homebrews have been released commercially for new systems. Oh, I have some Activ oh, some, <laughs> some Activision an anthologies. I wonder if... So if, it might be on there. Yeah. I don't know which ones have the homebrew and which homebrew games it is. Not that I require anyone else's approval, but how is 33? Um, it's... Pretty it's average. There. Yeah. Okay. Um, you play another one, and I'm almost finished reading about. I would love homebrew. to beat your world record. I'm just going to voice that out there, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> Do on my it. Third time Do it, man. It. I dare you. Once you get up to where I got up to, it's brutal. Okay. The I openings, you. as you go on, those openings get smaller. Okay. They get small to the point of the height of your character. So you have to be deadly accurate. You have to be pixel perfect, like pixel perfect, and at the at the apex of your jump as well. Um, because if you're go, <laughs> it's basically basically like you'd have to do on Flappy Bird kind of thing. Yes, yeah. but and it's an extreme. It's kind of it like Flappy Bird except so much, you're not flapping, right? So much less sweary, and <laughs> uh, and uh, it's more fun because of the back and forth of it, right? Yes, there's a little bit more. There's a lot more strategy. Any bird this. can fly or be angry. <laughs> um, I still need to get the WJN T-shirt printed. James helped restoring the graphics for it. Yes, yes, that's a very cool T-shirt. I have a question about um about the walls. Uh, yes. Uh, is um. Is it uh, randomly generated or are the same things in the same spot it's each exactly time? Exactly the same That's every awesome. time. So you can... Small jump. There you go. So you can kind of practice at um, at each of the walls and know what's coming up. See, you already beat your previous score. Good job. Uh, with severe resource limitations, including a mere 128 bytes of RAM... No video frame buffer. The 2600 is considered to be a difficult machine to program. <sighs> However, tools such as emulators, Vitari Basic, and a wealth of documentation exist to assist the home brewer. So, uh, all the games we're playing today were made in assembly code. Not with, like, um, um, Atari Basic. Right. So people are like using hmm. super crazy tricks to make these games look as good as they do. Like this one's super colorful. Yeah. Very responsive. And the the choices in the color palette Oops. are nice too, because everything's separate. Like the you can, the orange yes. from the lava is. Um, it's very visible. Like you know, like if they use the orange down near the bottom, it would be like kind of blend in. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 got a lot of depth to it. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna claim I'm gonna get my world record oh it's okay i still want to watch because that was brutal it took a uh, huh. long time and of course when that starts happening you know you're you're closing in on like either your own personal best or a high score you totally get self-conscious you're like i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing but like your brain is not letting you do that right you're... no and i find with games um nice you hit a wall at a certain point if you're playing it over and over again you get to a height of yeah, I'm I, I'm doing really well. And then after that point, it starts just going downhill, and then you're never getting back to. Okay. Right, because there's other factors at play to ensure that that doesn't happen to. Yeah. Like when you and me were playing crackpots earlier. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I do play non homebrew games. Oh, sorry. Did I did I just did I just? You outed me. Oh, sorry. No, no. Just on the show. 
that uh, yeah. we only play homebrew games now. Here's the plum bobs that are challenging. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn it! Oh, 47, you still beat me. Uh, give it one more go and then hand it back to you. This this dangerously is the type of game that I could while away hours on. Oh, yeah, it's it's that just one more game type of game. <laughs> what I'm noticing, though, is because of the very matter-of-fact ways in which in which you die, um, that I... Uh, Bye, Arena Foot. <laughs> see ya. It, 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 it doesn't stress me out uh, to lose at it. Do you know oh, what I mean? Okay. Like, like I'm like, oh well. Whereas, <laughs> wh whereas, it, 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 it's like I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind, of, kind of like I was just discussing it's, to you off camera before, yeah. where, where it's just one of those things where it's, it's easy, easy to own it and not beat yourself up too bad about it. Yes, and also this game is a short game. Like you can't play it for more than like two minutes. Right. Um, I think it's like two, two or three minutes. So it's not as like time consuming, like you're not in it for a half an hour. Yes. And then you die and you're like, oh my god, another half hour before I even get close to the top score again. Is is there a finite ending to this or just succeeds as far as you've gotten kind of thing? Um I have used a tool assist to go to nice. uh, level a hundred. Just to see what it looks like, kind Just of. Just to see what it looks like and what happens, and I believe it goes on forever. Um, I think the it kind of scale of this game. It probably loops at some point because you can only. Have, oh, fair. Yeah. Have so many um, levels. Don't think anyone's going to gripe about that. Nice. Oh. <laughs> So physics applies to you, but there, but it's a very specific speed that the plumb bobs move at. Yes. Oh, I, see, I now I see what Damn you're it. talking about. Fifty six. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. At a couple rooms past that is the A, where I get the A, and then it fast forwards me um, to like room fifty five. Okay. And then, then it's like then it's brutal. Every Every doorway is so small. It's unbelievable. Oh, I supposed to says, Bye, Arena Foot. I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. I uh, I think Tanya and I were talking the other day about this, and I, we were saying, like, oh, you know, a lot of people are able to tune in at, like, various weird times, like, working hours. And we're, th <laughs> we're thinking that a l there's a, probably a high percentage of the viewers. Yeah have computer jobs just because they're a yeah. lot of them are programmers right and so they probably have a day job that they can watch the show at can right? people watch your stream uh archived after the fact like oh yeah yeah that's yeah. cool yeah i figured I, but yeah because it it lives on uh twitch for a little bit um because i'm I, i'm not paying for a, a twitch subscription to, i understand to keep my videos for a year or infinitely right so i archive them on youtube um, Very nice. So people go there. Some people watch them on Twitch after, but um, <gasps> why? Why? <laughs> the high bit rate, really um, high quality ones are on YouTube. Nice. Um, and actually, this is uh, streamed at sixty frames per second. Because um, we were talking about frame rate before the show as well, mm -hmm. because the Atari works at sixty frames a second. Um, it updates the screen. And there's lots of tricks that games use, um, modern homebrew games, and, and older ones. Um, a good example is the uh, Atari 2600 Pac-Man. And you remember that. Flicker, flicker. <laughs> flicker. <laughs> <Wah. laughs> yeah, it's boo, terrible. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> <laughs> so there's you and the four ghosts. And... In an Atari 2600, mm -hmm. there are only two sprites, let's say. Only two characters that you can put on the screen at the same time. Right. So, on the Pac-Man, if I remember correctly, um, one of the sprites is used for you. And the other um, sprite is used for the ghosts. Right. And since there All are, four of them. <laughs> all four of them. And since there are four ghosts, and... Only 60 frames per second to update the screen. It um, does some multiplexing. 
<laughs> of that one ghost into four ghosts. And and through all that, and if you consider how how few of the pixels are being assigned to each ghost in that situation, if I'm understanding you correctly, yeah. And, and yet they couldn't give you the um, the benefit of the doubt when you graze a ghost, <laughs> like in real Pac-Man. It, instead, right. it was like you appear to have been within a centimeter of a ghost. So we're gonna we're gonna say tie goes to the runner. The runner being us. And go. oh wow! So that. Warp zone. Yeah, that nice. was a warp zone, but I did it too early. Um, and I did. I did it too early, um, because usually if you delay it by one more letter, um, I can get up to room sixty-five at the end of the warp, right? And it's easier to do the rooms before the warp. Oh, so you took your A earlier than you wanted to. Yeah, okay. I usually have to miss two or three rooms. Cute. Okay. Yeah, no, I've got very strategic about it. <laughs> I actually have measured pixels and how high jumps are. Fair enough. And, and crazy. This will be my first game review once I have some time. Um, like a in-depth game review. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> little low. little hot foot there, yeah. Thrust 26. Uh, uh, I supposed to. James has played swoops <coughs> before on the show. Yes, very briefly. What was sw uh, Swoops? I got to get better, James yeah. Swoops with Cave 1K, Thomas's one button game. Swoops is, uh, if I remember correctly, is <clears throat> angry is the um, uh, Flappy Bird. If I uh, remember correctly, I hope I am. I um because it's on my Google Play uh, um, list of games that I previously downloaded before. Yeah. Just for old time's sake, I put it on every phone and tablet I've got. The the Flappy Bird, right? Oh yes. Just yes. just because I'm a, it's stupid, but it's the original Flappy Bird. <laughs> oh, it no, it's a cave running game. Sorry, it's a helicopter in a cave. Oh, that's what's a helicopter in a cave. That sounds safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not safe. <laughs> and there's other things in the cave too that are trying to kill you. <laughs> But it was... No! Again! No, play again. You okay. gotta get past that. Stop jumping into the little spiky things. My best is 41 so far, so... Oh, that's... You're getting better. Getting better. Whoa! I thought I was gonna make it through there, and I just kind of smucked the wall. Yeah, that's the danger when you're, like... You're running out of time, and the, the electrical fence is coming to kill you. Don't whiz on the electric fence. <laughs> that's right. Don't even touch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let that, alone whiz on it. <laughs> that kind of advice will put you in good stead. Just, yes. Just stay right away from the electric fence, <laughs> let alone pulling your genitals out. <laughs> so, uh, your history with the 2600. Okay. Or video games in general. What What's your earliest memory of, like, arcade or home console was arcade first or? it was okay uh in um there are two defining moments the first was going into uh um the, they called it and it's awful name for a place but they called it uh the donut hole <laughs> and uh it was uh, uh the first donut shop my dad ever took me to when i was very young yeah and there were a bunch of mm, people crowded around like um one of the Tabletop. When I say tabletop, I mean where they're the actual tabletop, not tabletop like the mini game, like uh, the flat. One. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The, like the pub style, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, of Ms. Pac-Man. Okay, yeah. And I very was, uh, popular for that style of 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 game oh, console. Forty-seven. All right. <laughs> Kicking ass. Uh, I got killed with my first plum bob. All right. <laughs> Plum um, and uh, um, everyone was watching, and I'm like, "What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Must be good." Yeah. So, um, so I played, and I was, um, as could be expected from my age at the time, just brutal. Uh, I'm gonna get that ghost. Oh, I died. And my dad was willing to invest about a dollar in me for that particular <laughs> session, and then he's like, "We're done. Let's get a donut and go." Yeah. Uh, but not getting any better, son. That stuck in my head. <laughs> then they built a mall that was close to my house in Victoria, and they had what can only be described as like the the quintessential memory that everybody has of an arcade from the 80s it was called electronic encounters pretty good name yeah, yeah. and and it had um 
the uh, uh, it, it had sort of like it looked like the entrance to a spaceship on the outside, but not not yeah. they didn't put too much effort into it. But like the lettering was cool and everything, and everything and, was about uh, spaceships back in the eighties, yeah. and and uh, yeah, early nineties even for video games because most a lot of video games were space games. Yeah, some, oh totally, some, it was probably leftovers from the space race and from Star 60s, Wars as well. And Star Wars, yes. Yeah. Everybody's capitalizing on that. Sorry, continue. No, it's okay. Uh, uh, it, it, and to, to, to Cliff's notes it up a little bit. Uh, um, th so, so it was those two experiences, and then and then uh, and then the other Keystone experience there was getting uh, uh, my grandpa, who ran a pub at the time. He decided he didn't want to have any of those video games in his <laughs> place anymore, so he gave me a Pong machine. Oh wow! And uh, it was uh, um, there were no paddle paddles. It, it, it was analog. Oh, movement? Analog like, movement with, like, a, a metal joystick, four joysticks. Oh, okay. And uh, I had that for years until it finally burnt out and died. And did I ever see that? No. Okay. But you what, had something else. Oh, no, you? yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. It, uh, we've known each that. other a really long time. <laughs> since 89? Yeah, since yeah. 89. That's right. It was in our house. It was. It used to be... Um, it, did, it wasn't working properly. No, it was. was we, it? we got to play... Um, Right up to about the time, and this, the, the, I, I, you think I'll think I'm saying this to be funny, but I'm being real, being realistic right about up to the time that we actually started having girls in our group of friends. Girls, girls, <laughs> yeah. And then it burnt out around them. But um, I did own another pong machine later on when. Okay. I lived in Shea Nice, but uh, the, uh, yeah. uh, and then it come full circle. I worked as a shift manager in a space themed arcade fun center. Thing that was the for, best. Except for we didn't get free years. Games. Well, did yeah, we? yeah, we didn't get free oh, games. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we got. A couple. There were a lot of service issues with games <laughs> that we part of. Yes, I can't. I can't recall how many times things went wrong with Mortal Kombat. So you lost the quarter, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Okay. Got to put some credits in for you. I feel bad. Let's give you three. <laughs> so yeah, and then. And then, uh... So that was the hangout spot, was the arcade where you worked at. Command HQ. Waiting for you to get off work so we could <laughs> yeah. go, go, uh, do whatever. <laughs> yeah. But, but, um, but, but yeah, so that's, that's the arcade end of it, and the, uh, the rest was just, uh... What about home consoles? Home consoles? What was my, the history of that? My dad bought me the Coleco Gemini, which, to this day, the Gemini joystick, as much as it's maligned by a lot of others, is my... <laughs> yeah, it's not a loved joystick. It's my favorite stick to play anything on. I, I posted that uh, on an Atari Age post, and once, uh, and, and the person I'm... Per the, the response is pretty much, I figured out later, people were th thinking I was being sarcastic. But, but but no no oh. damn it and I was doing really well actually sixty one you could, I think you were at sixty one uh, the last time too when you warped yeah but yeah. I didn't warp yet oh That's oh right the thing so you could I don't think I've it. ever successfully gotten the A after room sixty one but if I ever crazy. did because look at the openings they're getting yeah infinitesimal yeah yeah. May I have one last crack? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. then we'll we'll move on. I For think. sure. Are, are we doing pretty good? No, no, we have to move on. Yeah. Like right now, we can. No, no, okay. you can finish your game. No, there's no time constraints. Okay. <laughs> no worries. It's we fine. got advertisers, <laughs> yeah. man. They're yeah. waiting for the break. The bills get paid. <laughs> no advertisers. Tim Hortons plays pays big money. No, just kidding. <laughs> no. Um, Ice Bosta says it's his favorite thro short throw joystick as well. And and it is it is very good for that. For paddles certain, are useless on it though. Paddles are useless. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember ever using the paddles. You have to you had to use a Y cord, um, oh. because because it was connected to the joystick, right? You had because to, you had, there's only one paddle on each. Yeah. So you had to use the Y to connect the two. Yeah. I don't think I ever had a Y. I don't think I have a Y. So I do have those joysticks, oh. but I don't have a Y, so I'd never be able to use the paddle. I would. I, I I love the system too. It was it was it was a perfect uh, Atari clone. Obviously, it was. Uh, but but it it had small buttons and it was smaller than a, a side buttons, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean the console itself oh, the console. was tiny, right? Like it was. Yeah. Oh, the the little dip switcher things. Yeah. yeah I, those buttons were not the the greatest. Those little switches, but they're fine. And it yeah. was a nice shape. It was very compact. Right? Yeah. 
And the best part about that system yeah. is that it not it, it, that it didn't ship with combat. No disrespect to combat. Yeah, great it game. It shipped with Donkey Kong and Mousetrap both. Coleco games, right? Yeah, because they had license. Oh. I, I mean, don't, thirty-two. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Donkey Kong for the 2600 was not a prize, and you can drop your conspiracy theories about whether yeah. that was purposeful. It, but uh, there's been ri articles written about it. It was not a conspiracy theory. But I had a soft spot in my a soft spot in my heart for Green Mario, Green Face <laughs> Mario. Yeah. What was it? Mousetrap? It. It was. No, yeah, it was the other game. It was the other game. Mousetrap. Which an, another great maze game. Oh with doors. yeah, that's a fun one with the with the bones and. Yeah. And being able to shift the whole maze yeah. at any time. Yeah, that was a really good game. And what was good about the bones was because unlike a power pellet in Pac-Man, you didn't it didn't utilize right away. You got to save up your bones yes. and choose when you use in them. In an emergency. That yeah. was a really good twist on it. Of course there's a million Pac-Man clones. They were all trying yeah. to be the best Pac-Man clone. My second favorite was Intellivision's Lock and Chase, because you could oh, you could yeah. build I mean the Atari one was okay, but you were just a guy. The hat head. <laughs> it was. It wasn't quite the same. I don't know. Uh, I play on a Suzo arcade joystick. Oh, we don't know that one. In Europe, that oh. was the best joystick for a Commodore sixty four. I'm not familiar with the Suzo arcade joystick. I uh, you I should Google that. <laughs> yeah, I like the Epix uh, XJ five hundred. That's like the the kind of weird shaped grippy one with a button on the side and the clicky. Oh oh. I mean, it's only good for certain games. Very certain. I'll show you. That's like, I like to play flying games on the boss. Nope. The oh, boss yeah. Was, yeah. It was that, gray with the button on top. That one's pretty good. And the grip. Any game that you need to press the button a lot for, this yep. is terrible. Your finger will die within two minutes. But Movement. Oh, look at that. I'd love to try Frostbite on that. Frostbite would be really... Any jumping games is really good for this. So here... The other joysticks that worked for Atari that were interesting were the hand grip uh, super joysticks, and I forget their proper name, that came out for the ColecoVision. Do those work on this? I swear they I had, tried. Uh, oh, no. No, they don't work on 2600. No. They work on 7800, though, I think. Oh. Uh, I, I seem to remember there was some cross compatibility with it, but I yeah. don't remember exactly what it was. I, I'm pretty sure. It's a long I time ago, tried. though, so I could be wrong. Yeah. I tried it for the 2600 because I wanted to... Yeah, the, 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 what is it? Something switches? I can't remember what the name of that is. Okay, it's time for Amoeba Jump. Ooh, I already like the look of this little guy. Oh, yeah. There okay. you go. Okay. The uh, objective is don't fall off the platforms. Okay. Now, a couple more things. There are springs. If you land on a spring, it'll shoot you up. Cool. Which is great, because you'll get higher scores. I, I, I don't have to... Enact the spring with the button like I no, would on a Mario game or anything? It's only okay. left and right in this game. Left and right. Oh, okay. Uh, the other two things you have to know... I have one of those Epic joysticks. They suck. They suck for a lot of stuff. But they're good for very certain things. I think for this, it might be good. Um, this strikes me as being an amazing Frogger joystick, too. I think for fro for for games that are... Just by this look. Um definitive moves like frogger where you're moving from thing to thing and not like this where it's a kind of you can move freely yeah because yeah because it's nice click, to click, feel click. the click because you can count the, like that's yeah. why i think for frostbite as soon as you clicked it because i didn't realize it did that because it may or everything... may not work for frostbite because that you can kind of move a lot in but yeah but 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 to be able to hear your timed jump yeah is awesome it, it, it has it's, Audio and like uh, uh, tactile feedback. So oh, there you go. Okay, for this one, there are white ones that disappear, so you can only jump on them once. Okay. And then there's blue ones that move, but those are just obvious. Okay. Those those don't disappear. And then the button will just make him stop being tired and start playing. <laughs> he looks so tired. <laughs> no, actually, my favorite joystick overall for the 2600 is the Sega Genesis Arcade Power Stick. That's a little bit dirty. Because it's, it's broken right now. It sticks to the left just slightly enough to infuriate you ah. <laughs> uh, once in a while. But this, it's arcade, great huge buttons, and short throw on the joystick. Yeah. And very responsive. And it's just hefty, 
Nice. And I love, obviously, arcade joysticks are some of the best yeah. ways to play mm -hmm. any game. Okay. And, and basically a must if you're moving up through console fighting games, if you're getting to Yo. that level of things. Oh, yeah. Okay, so so uh, just button to kick me off? Um, nope, you just start. Oh. It's ready to go. Oh. Yep. Okay. Yeah, heavy is good, yes. And I do want to um, order an Ed Ladin uh, joystick as well. Oh. <laughs> it's immediate oh. response. I thought I would have the trajectory, and I didn't think it would do that. <laughs> that's good. And also, you can... It has wraparound left and right. Oh, okay. So that's that, important. Yeah, so that helps. So there's a spring. There you go. And make sure you land on something. I was like, yeah, a spring! <laughs> so don't rest die. on the laurels, Corey. There we go. Yeah, once you're used to the controls and how they work, it, it obviously... Some randomness easier. on this one, eh? Yes, it's all yeah. random. All random, except for your starting positions. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this game would be awesome from a first-person view. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> that would be very <laughs> difficult. Ah! It'd be like seeing. This game is... made a game like that. This game is awesome, like, but 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 I overthink things, and to, to have that much hang time to overthink in midair. Yes, it's is... dangerous it... sometimes because you're rethinking where you're landing and. You don't necessarily have enough time. Yeah, you gotta watch, because it'll just disappear off the screen and then your landing's gone. <laughs> By the way, just just footnote out there, all these games I've played so far, all, all you programmers of these games are, are incredible. These are, the, oh, the, yeah. the aesthetics of this and everything are amazing. Yeah, it's all about gameplay. All these games. You guys should have been having uh, doing copious amounts of drugs and having sex in the Atari offices and during their heyday. <laughs> Definitely, they missed out. Yeah. Yeah. Any one of these homebrews that are being made today, if they were released, oh god, damn it. back in the '80s, they would have been like the best-selling games ever. Mm -hmm. They would have trounced on uh, ah, like Yard's Revenge. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's I'm, still an amazing... Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, my yards is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Games like Yards give you that persecution complex because that thing is relentlessly after you. Yes. It's like that short story, The Room, where where they're on a planet and this thing is just slowly following them. <laughs> and they're like, it's not going to be a problem. It's slow. And then it's <laughs> relentless and follows them everywhere. And... So you can never stop. Yeah. Not, not aware of that. It sounds like a zombie type. Uh... Uh, it was actually a short story uh, from grade 10 English. I, uh, I have no uh, idea who the author is. God. If anyone knows, feel free to throw that in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Impaler74 says, Amoeba Jump is great. Has that just one more round appeal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's one of those games that's short enough <sighs> that you're not put off by having to start again. Yes. And that's the same with Wall Jump Ninja. It's like, no, it's short enough. You can just do it again and again. It's like, oh, I can do better than that. And, and the fact that there's there's a random factor to this makes you go, well, maybe I'll look out and get two springs in a row. <laughs> yes. Um, actually, in the f one of the first, in the first couple iterations, he had the springs at <gasps> exactly the same intervals. Oh. So you could do spring, spring, springs forever. <gasps> yeah. He got rid of that because it was like, yeah, it's a bit, yeah, a bit too much. So it's spring, springs are kind of like a bonus now. Sometimes you can do some triple, like there you go, and again, woohoo, and it, oh, almost. It reminds <laughs> me of a simplified down version of the concept of like an NES game like Kid Icarus, where you're always moving upwards. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of endless upward moving games. Oh no, yet. for sure, for sure. It just like, I just. I remember, I remember that game from being one one of the ones that I would super overthink about when doing jumps and stuff, and then what I was right. getting into trouble. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm much, this is one of those. I'm better at games where I don't have time to do a lot of thinking, where it's more reactive. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still room for analysis, but yeah. This yeah. one, you pick your target. You stay with your target. Do not um, rethink where you're going to land. You yep. are going to die. Which is kind of like real life. If you're going to jump from <laughs> from one side of the cliff ah. to... If, if, like if you're going to do parkour, you're not going <laughs> to yeah. be in mid-air. This is basically parkour for... Yeah. And, parkour meets Monsters, Inc. And unlike uh, video games, real life, you can't change direction mid-air. Mid 
Yeah. Not too easily. I feel like I should have gotten credit for that spring. I'm just saying. <laughs> Zero points. Woohoo. This is, this is a fun game that is not at all in my skill set. <laughs> but I love... Oh, I didn't fine. realize that I could scale across almost the whole screen in it's one a, jump. It's about a half screen. You can okay. do quite a bit. It's all about... Um, <gasps> Practice and precision I, I, with this. I think I'm done embarrassing myself on this one. <laughs> it is a great game, no question. I'm just you're never gonna you're never gonna see me on on the record boards with this one. <laughs> Some people have done very well. I have a question. Yeah. Um, does does Twin Galaxies have rankings for homebrews? That is a very good question. Um, there is a. A website called highscores.com, okay. which is more friendly to homebrews. Gotcha. Um, I would think that Twin Galaxies does. Somebody can um, answer that in the chat. Because if they're released on cartridge, um, then I would think that it would be available to get a high score. Because some of these are ROMs. It makes it too easy yeah. To do ROM hacks and yeah, cheat the fair. system a bit. And that never Twin Galaxy is more about uh, being accurate and. Uh, well, they are now. Yeah. <laughs> they cleaned up their act a little bit. Yes. Um, since yeah. The whole Billy Mitchell incident. Yeah, that was that was he, kind of eye opening. Yeah. So he's he's banned from the site, and all of his records are removed because he's a dirty, from, dirty cheater. From all of his games. Yep. Because they can't trust any of his yeah. records. Because he used MAME to get uh, a Donkey Kong score. Interesting. Um, ah. MAME is probably about the only way... But uh, I have a question about that. Because yeah. I, I've, I've heard about this whole like Billy Gate thing. <laughs> yes. uh, but but um, Billy and, Gate. <laughs> and I saw the other day... Uh, um, I know I, I'm, I'm late to the table on this one. But, yeah. uh, but, but the... Um, uh, uh, the the idea that he used Mame, I get that. Yeah. But um, how if you've got a recorded score, wasn't Billy Mitchell's thing arcade Donkey Kong? Like, wouldn't he usually be in front of a machine? Yes, that's so. That's the normal way of doing it. You would have a camera on the screen and a camera on you a little yeah. bit, so it sees, so you can, oh my god, so you can see it's you. Do you have to have a witness? No, no. Um, they take video tapes of it. Okay. Um, the normal procedures uh, is a camera on the screen, a camera on you, or something that encompasses both. Yeah. You can have it from behind and be able to see that. Is a camera on your hands? Yes. You want it on your hands. Yeah. On you, on the screen. So you can kind of get a side view as long as you can see the full screen. And it's, you know, be an arcade cabinet. And then at the end of your game, you would keep keep recording... You'd go around, open up the arcade machine, and and show that it's the real board. All the dip switches are in its proper place. Right. You can, be, from being in working in an arcade, you can set. Yeah. Oh, totally. To be, yeah. You know, less lives or harder or faster yep. or slower, because some people buy these and you know they went at home and they want to give free play as right. well, different settings. Or rip off arcades that used to set everything to the highest oh, setting. Oh, those high. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you would film the board as well, so to show that yeah, it's all legit. All the chips are the right chips. Nothing's weird. Twin Galaxies is not free anymore, so basically dead for me. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't, I, you can still look up scores, but I guess some part of it maybe there's advertising. I'm not sure what it oh, is, interesting. what Thrust means by that. Um, but what he did is he was very close to the people at Twin Galaxies. Yeah, which is, it was evidenced yes. in, a, in, uh, in, in other the, ways, yeah. In the, the movie. Yeah. Um, so they give him a lot more leeway. And what he would do is submit videotapes of just the screen, right? Just the, not him playing it, just the screen. And the one that kind of busted him was a, a film of just the screen. Right. And... The way it drew the board on the screen, like they analyzed it frame by frame, it drew it differently than the, than the arcade because the main uh, emulation, like drew it like down, top to bottom, 
like it did it the like opposite. the interlacing, but yeah, yeah, the way it drew it on the screen. Oh, okay. It was able to be captured at thirty frames a second. Yeah, and sense. show how it's drawn, and it was opposite of how it's drawn on an arcade machine. And they went, no, 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 no. This was done on Mame because that's how Mame right. draws it. Or oh, draws it. Skadiet, Skadiet, Skadiet. How would you say that? Oh, scat, scat, scat diet. Ska diet. He probably has a diet of ska. Ska music. diet. There yeah, we go. Possibly. Oh, yeah. thanks for tuning in. Absolutely. Check you later. We're not done, but we are done this game. Yeah. Um. So the last game we're gonna be playing is Draconian, which is a space shooter. And there you go. Oh, okay. Let me. I love how you send me in cold to like set me up to fail. It's just yeah. like. Um. That's kind of a tradition on the show fair is that when i was playing atari 2600 games and commodore 64 games i would sometimes get the cart by itself no instruction manual you know you got it second yeah hand, totally or your friend gave it to you and they lost the manual or all they have is because they threw it away <laughs> oh the box who cares right yeah so you had to figure it out on your own some games like um, like we we're talking about Indiana Jones and E.T. You, you <laughs> yeah. can't play properly without knowing what the hell you're doing. Right. Um, but we had to. <laughs> yeah. And figure it all out. And the Commodore, you had to figure out what keys do what. And in this, you had to figure out the switches and stuff. So in that tradition, we kind of do that. That's cool. We cause... play like one game and... And then we read out the instructions after. I can think of two games in particular where I had to do that. One was Solar Fox. Yeah. And the other was uh, uh, MASH, the one based on the TV oh, show. Yeah, I've never played it. It's like, Mash. okay, I'm doing this. And now I'm operating on somebody. I'm like, oh, they just called me Ferret Face. I'm like, like I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Yeah, some games is like, just, it's bad news. Okay, this game, shoot everything. Don't crash into things. That's it. All right. Okay. You've got a little, uh... Oh, it's like Vanguard. Uh, it's got... It shoots in multi-directions. Yes. It... I already love it. <laughs> yeah, it's a eight-way scrolling Atari 2600 space shooter. Oh, got yeah, a little fancy. Things. No you've, fancy flying. You've got a radar at the bottom with green... Oh, okay. ...with green things in it. Those are the bases. You have to blow up all the, all the bases. So in this level, there's three of them. You can shoot like a la Star Wars, up the exhaust port. Oh, There's, there's a little okay. opening in it. Or you shoot all six pods that are around it, and that'll blow it up. See that little... There you go. There you go. You got the opening. They don't give you uh, much space leeway at all, eh? Like, it's just like you're dead. No pun intended. <laughs> yes. Like, that, yeah. And there are asteroids and mines. Now, when you shoot a mine, it'll explode for a bit. Don't run into that explosion. Oh, okay. So the shrapnel is a It'll thing. take you down. Whoa. I it see why they call it a base, because they kind of come out of it. Yes, yeah. The, in higher levels, they are able to shoot missiles out of the base. Oh, oh good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Impaler Whoa. 74. Yeah, figuring out how to, how to play E.T. without the manual was hard, but I managed it back in the 80s. But Raiders is impossible. Yeah, you just... Because it's all secrets and stuff, right? Like, if, this is awesome, by the way. I can't wait to oh, take another crack at it. Yeah. So good. I'll turn it up a bit so you can hear the voice. Yeah. Blast off. Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. It does, but it's alert, alert. I'm sure. <laughs> like, don't and get me wrong. Even the arcade, um, the arcade voice was very poor. Allah, Allah. <laughs> so they kind of made it the same as the arcade, like bad like the arcade. Yeah. And there's squadrons that come after you. Two, divided by, divided by, <laughs> zero. Yes. Although that was done on a calculator. Uh, speak and spell. Oh, speak and spell. Uh, there's, um, but uh, that gentleman, I forget, who's got the YouTube channel about uh, adapting to blindness, uh, oh, yeah. showed a calculator that makes that exact noise as well. Yes, that's yeah. right. It's funny. Voices like this, they, are the, they were oh, what the? like the standard for... Um, for synthesized voices and now today if you like you could be a virgin mobile customer and and that british lady is not a british lady like she's literally fully synthesized oh okay. really well i don't know if she is but i'm just saying yep. that's the ability now right? oh yeah like, you yeah. can't even so, tell yeah. he's got an accent and everything so so where um uh y you mentioned that your um uh your, your viewers uh yep. come from slight sort of like like 
all around kind of thing. Is, is it most? Is it mostly North America or? Yes, it is. Um, partly because I speak English. And yes, yes, you do. Limits it to mostly, well, people that can understand English, and all of most of the U.S. speaks English, and there's a huge population there. Yeah. Um, but um, Europe, yep. Yeah, obviously, that's like the second biggest. Would be it, Europe. I know it's just a matter of resolution difference, but but is there any difference in your ability to? It might sound like a stupid question, but uh, to, to, to perform gameplay on PAL, like like the. Yes, actually, um, PAL has more lines, vertical right. lines of resolution, um, but slower uh, refresh. What am I doing? I'm just wandering around shooting chips. Um, it's a uh, 50 hertz. Um, uh, a refresh rate, so it redraws the screen 50 times a second. Right. Um, as opposed to us, where it redraws the, the screen 60 times a second. And that is based on our electrical grid. And right. Cause... That is, you know, we have uh, 60 hertz uh, power. Right. And they have 50 hertz. And bandwidth for vi television was based on that kind of premise so they went oh okay well we're refreshing 50 times a second so we're able to pack in more information per second okay um because we have a slower refresh so we can give it more lines um, which made for super annoying conversions of movies and stuff and for... vhs tapes that just didn't work <laughs> yeah exactly and but now it's uh now it's all like it's totally solved with like Blu-ray and modern, right. modern televisions. Yeah. Modern televisions can do 24 frames a second, which what most movies are for, are um, filmed in. Oh, that was terrible. So with with is the game is the game experience like like are the formats of the games different? Like like yes, actually, that's... because we're playing on uh, hardware. Right. It was made in 1977. Yes. Um, those standards still existed back then. Yeah, they sure did. So there are NTSE um, carts, 2600, yeah. and carts to go along with it, and uh, PAL carts, and also CCAM carts as well. Oh. Which is a total abomination of everything. <laughs> um, it's the Esperanto of. <laughs> it really is. There's not many countries that used uh, CCAM. And the colors that they gave for CCAM's uh, games are terrible. Like, you have a palette of like four. Jeez. Or maybe it was like eight, but it was still terrible. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, compared to the, I believe, 128 to the 2600, I which was the most colorful console for decades. Um, because the 2600 doesn't have a frame buffer, a whole frame buffer. 2600 draws line by line. Ah. So it was able to change colors every line. So oh. It so it didn't need any like large amounts of memory to store things because it didn't have it. Right. Um, so it was it was more flexible in that way, and which is partly the reason why it's so good and sought after for homebrews now because you can draw line by line so every line is a brand new thing to draw um, as opposed to other game systems where you have video memory you can only do so much on the screen at a time right um, but every line of the 2600 you get a new chance to use a play field a ball two missiles and two sprites and color them pretty much any way you want. Some of them are tied together. Um, I'm just like wandering because I'm talking. <laughs> um, not looking at my radar. Um, You're kicking ass and taking names. Yeah, because last month was in the homebrew competition was this game. Ah. Uh, so that's why I'm well practiced. And also, um, I was part of the design team for this game. Ah. Um, kind of. Um, so some of my levels that I designed are in this cartridge. Oh. On the cartridge. That's of awesome. Yeah. Um, I think four, four of my levels made it to this. I really yeah. like the, um, the, the, this, this game for, uh, 
for a top view space shooter yeah. has has visual depth to it too. Like like the oh, yeah. uh, 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 parallax scrolling star field. Yeah, like, it doesn't move the same as everybody everything else in the screen. Yeah, and and yeah, exactly the um, the space stations you feel like they're up close, like you're approaching them, and like you could you could go around it. You almost feel like right, like yes. Not that you could, you'd ah. crash into it, of course, but kind of like that. But uh, I, I, I feel that this is a tough act to follow. <laughs> yeah, but I'll give it a shot. Go for it. You can do it. Oh. Um, yeah, I would venture to say that this is the most advanced 2600 game ever made. It has multiple, multiple stri sprites per line. As you can see, those those bases are huge. Yeah. Right? And at the same time, not only do you have those huge bases on the screen, you have, like, as many ships as you want on the same line as well. The flicker is, like, non-obtrusive. Like, it does flicker from time to time. I don't notice it at all. It is so unobtrusive, and the flicker management on this, like, if you have more than two things on a line, yeah. one of them has, has to flicker. Like, if you have three, yeah. it has to start flickering because there's only two things. Like, there, it flickered for a second. Yeah. But as soon as you've shot the first ship, so now it's down to two, flickering stops. So there's room at the end, yeah. Yeah, so there's no need to... Whoa, fleet! And also, um, because it's flickering, they it also has in, intelligent... Um, uh, what, why am I flashing? What's going on? Okay, that's another aspect of this game. There are spy ships in this game, and they're the three-pronged yellow guys. Okay, the ones that look like jellyfish? Yes. Now, if you don't kill... Oh! Good dodging. Thank you. Now, if you don't kill that yellow spy ship, and it makes it off the screen, it reports back where your location, and it sends everybody all over. Where do I find you. this? Oh, that's what's happening it's, it's right now. Late. Yeah. The only way out of this is you killing the, the last... Um, uh, base? Base. Now, if am I missing bases if I'm only scrolling vertically? Like, like, like... Yeah. See your little radar at the bottom? Oh, yeah. the radar. I forgot so about the radar. So it'll show you where the last base is. There you go. So you've almost got the level. You just need to get that last. There you go. Level two. All right. Sector two. Yeah. So if you see that yellow ship come on the screen, kill it immediately. Okay. Follow it to the ends of the earth. Because if you don't, it, you're dead. You're essentially dead. Because it, it, ships will just keep coming on the screen. Um, to be fair, it's mainly ARM games that drive the TIA. Uh, ARM games, that, ARM games that drive the TIA. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. Ah, uh, get away from me! I am skipping out a whole nother layer <laughs> of this. Um, modern complex games like this yeah. take advantage of a processor inside the cartridge. They added a processor. Oh, okay. Um, so you couldn't create a standalone cart that operated like this? Is that what no, you're saying? No, you do. Oh. Um, they, the actual draconian cart has that chip in it as well. But, but, uh, no, I guess what I'm saying is this: it, it, if this were back in the age of Atari... Right. They uh, it didn't wouldn't... have that capability, except for one game. Pitfall 2. Right. Oh, that's what we were talking about, yeah. Yes. Which is one of my most beloved games. I love <laughs> it, that game. It is the most advanced game of that generation when the Atari was still going. Yeah. The colors, the graphics, the music was all so advanced. The single line, the single line drawing, because what it had is an extra chip on the cartridge that did a lot of the processing power because the Dari 2600 dual core processor <laughs> pretty much it had it has a mod like the new ones have a much faster chip than the the pitfall chip right so what this chip does is gets everything ready for to draw on the screen it does all the um, the hard calculations yeah it prepares all the um, the graphics to draw on that next line it says this is this color this is the location this is what it looks like and when it's ready to draw it, it just feeds that data 
to the um, the TIA, which is the the chip that draws for the 2600, and it just goes, do this, 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 and it goes, <laughs> Bleh, and spits it on the screen. Pretty clever. All the hard work is done on the chip inside. Oh, that! I did better than I thought I would. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> what did you make to the third or second? You died S in the second. Uh, I can't remember. Our viewers would could probably tell us <laughs> yes. better. <laughs> I'm not that good a multitasker to be able to tell you that. I know I know yeah, I beat I, the first sector. Yes, but yeah. You did. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to which sector. Um Actually let's reset this. And there is a Epsilon quadrant. I believe this is the random quadrant. That does, um, actually this has all the different settings for NTSC, PAL, and CCAM, so you can actually change it. But oh. back, back in the 80s, they would issue different carts. Right. Rather than program it in, because that just wastes space. But yeah. we have so much space on these new cartridges. Yeah. So RAM in there. Now we can do level. Level kids. <laughs> I'm going to do hard for me. <laughs> so I don't play as long of a game. We were playing normal, right? Yes. Okay. But anyway, the the, um, the processor enables all these new games to, to be amazing. I like it a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. I'll point out the um, that spy ship when it gets on the screen. Oh, I saw it when you were playing before. Oh, like I I knew what I was looking for, but like you said, it was too late. <laughs> yeah. Um. I have a question. When you blow up yep. the mines and they leave that that shrapnel for a yep. second. Uh, if an enemy ship is near it, will it hurt it also? I believe so. Oh my Whoa, God. that was relentless, eh? It was... And they're faster than you <laughs> on, on the hard level. That's a problem. It is. So you can't outrun them. You have to shoot them. Hope you've got your running shoes on, neighbor. <laughs> Please, the hounds. <laughs> I don't normally play on hard, but... Uh, You're still doing pretty good. Not bad. This is kind of like the level you play at once you get like to like maybe 10, 12 levels in. So I have kind of... I guess I have played on this kind of hardness level. Oh, what does the chat say? He's giving some, uh, some more info um, about the chip. The ARM chip is the... The processor. ARM chip is emulating a cart with RAM... A DPC plus chip and runs game logic on the AR ARM, but you still have only 76 cycles per scan line and the limits of the 2600. Oh god! What? I thought I killed the spy ship. Oh my god! I'm gonna say you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you've got a good strategy of traveling in a single direction, eh? Because then they kind of have to funnel in on you, and then you only have to worry about things that are coming in front of you. Yes. Yeah, oh, but it's oh, that's it's insane. It's po <laughs> it's pointless unless you're maybe down to one last um, base, station. Yeah, then you're you're dead. There's no way you can survive that onslaught while killing a base. I, I will still take that any day over over um, also causing uh, hurry ups like uh, adventure and uh, berserk. <laughs> oh. Yes, where big baddies are coming after you. The in invincible baddies. Yes, bouncing through walls. They're not even, like, going through the normal path. They have, like, invincibility yeah. and like, omniscience and everything. Yeah, and, 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 and uh, in the case of Venture, a horrible rumbling sound that makes you, like, I want to scream. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> sure, that's helping my concentration. Thanks for that. Another one. Bubble Bobble um, had that too. Sinistar. Yeah, this reminds me a bit of Sinistar. Somebody is actually, I believe, working on Sinistar for the 2600 or is thinking about Where it, it talks? or something. Yeah, because now we have the, yeah. we have the technology to make it talk. The. I oh, supposed to. That guy right there. He's the guy who did all the voices for this game. Oh. Good job. And he pretty you should, much you works cut on... an album. Sounds amazing. <laughs> He pretty much works yeah. on all the big games for all the sounds, music, and uh, voices. Cool. I was I, I was saying to James earlier we were talking about uh, Intellivoice. 
And uh, um, uh, I, I would love to hear somebody cut cut a rap song using the technology you've used to uh, uh, do this. So think about it. <laughs> a chip tune rap. Of course, then we realized MC Hawking. <laughs> right, but but now that I'm hearing this voice, I'm thinking you might, especially well, these with are the samples, chip tunes. though. So they're not really synthesized per se, like right. the IntelliVoice. Fair, fair. The IntelliVoice is actually like synthesized. Yeah. Where they're running kind of routines it's not like um, are you saying you don't like IES Post's voice I love this <laughs> voice but I believe it's not <gasps> Spice Wars next game will be Berserk slash Frenzy yes yeah Yeek! yeah we, we played it already on the show um early builds of it but he's recreating it from scratch <sighs> using a new technology like That's this awesome. like really advanced stuff just putting it out there if when you create it you could not make it so your guy generates in front of a crazy firing robot that kills you instantly. That would be yes. awesome, because that, of course, is the problem with Berserk. Uh, is that in the arcade? Does that happen? Uh, I don't remember. In Atari, it happens instantly. Oh, yeah. Because it's, it's so random. Like, yeah. It's just 100% random. It's not checking for that. But I'm sure he would do that. If it's if it's arcade, it's going to be arcade perfect. That's true. I would think. Yeah. So I doubt they would do that in the arcade. That would... Put you in front of a guy that fires and kills you instead. Yeah. How would I just take your quarter and throw out the garbage? <laughs> <laughs> How about I just do that? Yeah. Um, It'll save us both a lot of trouble. Yeah. Another uh, arcade conversion um, that is being worked on that's going to be done very soon is Mappy. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I play I play uh, a port of Mappy uh, on one of my other systems. Oh yeah. And uh, it's it's a fun game. It is unbelievable what they've squeezed out on a 2600. It's like for Mappy. It's like Keystone Capers uh, yes. ele elevator action and mouse and a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, actually, it is a good mix of those. Yeah. With cartoon mice and cats. Yeah. It, and and it, a corrupt uh, uh, cop mouse, actually. Yeah, that's right. Because why? What is what is happening here? Why is he like not arresting these cats? Right. But yet he's taking all of the paintings out of this house. What is he doing with He's these trying to save them, Mr. Cynical. <laughs> he's trying to <laughs> move them to a safer location. That's right. I love that there's a mob boss cat, too. There's that one cat that's, like, clearly mafioso, <laughs> yes. right? Like, Here, I'll set it to normal. Okay. You can go to the random levels. Hello, Atari. Come games here. like Mappy are games that I, f I forget about, but then I fondly remember as soon as someone, like... Oh, no, we're not playing kids. Okay. <laughs> well, Mappy... I don't Let's think try hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, why does it keep switching? Oh, because there, because there's an actual menu. There we go. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't think Mappy was huge in the arcade. No. Or I missed it because it was a very, it was fairly early, right? I fondly remember it from my Chuck E. Cheese Huggy Bears Pizza Palace days, <laughs> but that was different. Um, so you you did have a uh, an Atari clone. When did you get that? Uh, 1980 something. Oh, okay. uh, let me. I I think 85. Oh, good grief. <laughs> um, the, the um, I I I I did own a uh, um, like other Atari consoles over the years as well. Mm. Like uh, other 2600 consoles. Like I had a a proper um, like a light sixer. Yeah. And I had um, uh, the the just before everything went tits up model. I call it <laughs> the the little one. Uh, that looked kind of like Vader? the 7800. Like the push yeah. switches. Oh, I hate those. I hate those switches. I got, so I, much. I got it given to me though, and it was it was after. Uh, and it was it was it's called the, the Vader model. Okay. Because it's all black. Yeah. And the 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 system that was popular at the time that I got the that Vader model, so to Atari speak, was. Junior, I think it was called. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Vader was the all black one. Yeah. Donnie had that. Yeah. 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 See, I feel like it's laughing at me there. <laughs> you, <laughs> you only have 4,200. <laughs> I have defeated you. Uh, I supposed to, uh, uh, and I have a fixed Atari Berserk with speech and menu options and diagonal robot fire. I supposed to says I own Mappy Arcade. Oh. So he has his own Mappy game. And that game is best enjoyed in the arcade. Oh, of course. And I and did Pitfall 2 sound for all Mappy songs and some effects. Yeah, the sound, everything on the Mappy game is so good. The one that's coming out, we we did a preview of it oh, on the show. Awesome. And we'll probably be getting another preview of it soon. Ah. Yeah, you're 
You're just being hunted at this point. <laughs> You're in condition red. If I'm going down, I'm taking some guys with me. Oh, well, you're racking up points, tiny, tiny, tiny bit. You don't get much points for these guys. But if you just do it infinitely. <laughs> Actually, it's a pretty fast way of getting points. <laughs> I find it funny that it continues into the menu again. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, it oh, is. Oh, you are playing in hard mode. Are you aware you're playing in hard mode? Yes. Okay, you wanted to play in hard yeah, mode. Yeah, because I accidentally, I accidentally went to kids. I'm like, no, I'm not going to humiliate myself like that. And then he uh, he played in hard mode, so I figured it was just... That's true. Tit for tat, right? So Condition wed. <laughs> Condition wed? <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like. It's so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> alar, alar. Yeah, the, the samples are hilarious. But they're yeah. almost as bad in the arcade, too. All due respect to to the sampler, of course, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. This is insane. Edition Wed. Yeah, one day on the show we did a marathon of this game and played every level. Every single oh, level. Because wow. it has a continue feature, right? Yeah, yeah. That was uh, three and a half hours <laughs> we played it for. <laughs> and they do repeat after a while. There's only so many levels per um, per stage or right. per sector. Sector? Anyway. Yeah, that's what they kept keep saying at the bottom sector. Yeah. Travel stations. And I think when you play on hard, it's much easier for it to trigger into condition red. Right. Um, which makes it... Bad. Silence! Silence! <laughs> Spy ship sighted is the actual best uh. side. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Although it could it could be aliens and that's their language and and, True. and uh, the speaker could could be quite the orator on their planet, right? Like like. Uh, like True. Uh, yep. One thing I love about Captain Gnarksvik is he <laughs> is he speaks so clearly and lets us know what's coming. He enunciates every word. I really appreciate him. Me too. Let's have a dinner in his honor once we kill the infidel. Or it could be that uh, they're just using a drive through speaker in your spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like fries with that? Sorry, what? What would you like fries with that? <laughs> 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 Put up in the warehouse? <laughs> I have never, I, I, I've ne never worked, worked in a drive through but... I think I want a bucket list <laughs> working at a drive thru just so I can pretend the drive thru is not working properly. <laughs> I know what I'll do. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll volunteer on one of those um, the cappy days where, like, like, Ooh. like. <laughs> I, <laughs> Except I feel like. actually work in the restaurant? If you're important in the community, I'm working on that. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Because you live in a, a smaller community now, so you could be very important in that community. Work your way up the rankings. I am a part of the business community now, and I'm Ooh. a little bit better known than I was previously. There you go. So, a couple of years, it's my dream. It's Actually, I would, master to be 100% serious, I would uh, happily uh, do anything to support charities that yeah. help kids out in that situation. And, and I would, at the same time. <laughs> and I, I would not sully it by pretending I couldn't hear on the drive through Because I feel like that might lessen the McHappy Day... <laughs> Um, donation that said customer might give after receiving his <laughs> <laughs> you could just do the voice and then go i just kidding I can hear you yeah or, exactly or... <laughs> so and funny. if they still aren't amused it's like listen I'll pay for your meal <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're not on a hidden camera show <laughs> yeah <laughs> ah oh that, that was less of an explosion, more of a splatter. Like, that was, like, getting run over. Yeah, it, uh... I, I have, a, I have a question about the homebrew way of thinking. Yes. And so if, if you look at phone or tablet games that um, that, oh. that like to capitalize on, on the pixel graphics, like your your Ninja Ups and your Trossy Roads and, and those kind of games... Yeah. yeah. Um, um, would... Could you conceivably... Uh, develop similarly styled titles like like could on the 2600 yeah well the the one that we played um amoeba jump is adapted from a phone game right you're um, saying from, yeah that's true uh doodle jump if you ever heard yes of that one. yes i it's, have yeah. it's pretty much the same it's, it's he's altered it now 
Um, he actually was, it was originally called um, Poodle Jump, and it was a dog. Uh -huh. um, but not everybody was too super keen about dogs. So he changed, wow. So he changed it to Amoeba. It's okay, guys. It's not going to make your house smell like dog. <laughs> yes. I thought that was a strange reaction because I, I love the poodle. Its little ears flapped when it went up. Aww. The it was super cute. What's wrong with you monsters that don't like that? I know. <laughs> oh, I tried to take out the space station. But, yeah, he made it to more neutral for all the cat people. <laughs> You've had cats and, and dogs, right? Yes. Yeah, so you're equal opportunist uh, uh, owner. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy both aspects of Mappy and uh, <laughs> both aspects of Mousetrap. <laughs> That's right. All three aspects of Mousetrap, sorry. Because there's dog, cat, and mouse. Uh, oh, what? Yeah, oh, you turn into you a turn dog. You turn into the bulldog. Yeah. That's right, and you are a mouse, a mouse and they are... Um, cats. And I'm sorry, kudos to Coleco for when, when putting out that game, the amazing, considering the graphics, or sorry, considering the sound quality, yes. the, ooh, the amazing, ooh. yeah, yeah. That is so good. And the surprised reaction of the cats when you eat them, they're, wow! Yeah. Like, like, it's, it's. Great sound design on that. Yeah. I don't know, that was a very good dodging. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's bad news to get in between two of these bases. Yeah, especially, I guess, on hard when they're firing missiles right away, right? Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. it's missile time. But the, the missiles aren't too bad, they only go in a straight line. Uh, and handy. they only fire out of the kind of exhaust port of the, of the base. Right. So, so they're like, shoot here. And you can shoot them, too. Oh! So they're Oh, like, it took out an alien ship, too. Yeah. Collateral there's damage. There's a friendly fire going on. The, these, these ships are all suicidal. Like, they're all crazy. They don't fire at you. Their mission is to run into you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They're not firing at all. Yeah. The the bases are firing at you. What's ah, what's impale, uh, impale Flappy? Is to. Flappy is the mappy? Uh, no, Flappy is a Flappy Bird. A twenty six hundred version of Flappy Bird. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think I have it on here, but I might. I don't have many. I should just keep a bunch of like really good ones on here are just... there are oh are there any homebrew sports games no i've never heard of a homebrew sports game actually there are um sports ish games okay right i think this is one how about games. a hockey game oh, that has that. more than <laughs> two players per side <laughs> And television managed to one? do it. And television has actual NHL endorsed five. That would on be five totally hockey. not impossible to do now. You could have a vertically scrolling. Yeah. Because vertical scrolling on the twenty six hundred is not a problem whatsoever. It's the horizontal scrolling. It has to go four pixels at a time. Horizontal right. scrolling. Right. Okay. Um, there are ways around that, as you saw in Draconian. Yeah. Oh wow. Because it doesn't use the play field, and the play field is the only thing that has to go four at a time. Blip football. Oh. Thrust. I guess there is one. Let me... Good uh, to know. Look that up, actually. Um, Not a big football. That'd be the last... Because I don't understand football, so... Um, the... The... Not a magic. Oh, the, M, the M Network uh, Super Challenge Football was amazing. Um, with one small flaw. It had scrolling side to side, so if you missed a pass, you could run through one side of the screen and have a magic receiver on the other end to catch oh, the ball. Yeah, that's an but, issue. But 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 the gameplay, like it was all the players lined up in the appropriate spots along the field. Yeah. And you had to set up your plays, like it was quite good. Oh wow. Uh, so I'm so, curious. So this apparently, I, I'm sure there's more. I mean, the person who would know this the best would be Arena Foot, but he. Uh, He's this is just a screenshot, it. right? No, no, oh. he'll play it. He was just... Oh, wow. <laughs> this looks complex. Yeah. Oh, are those... Oh, those... Oh, you know what? This is kind of emulating. I know exactly yeah. what it's emulating. Yeah. So that's interesting. The pocket quarterback game? Yes. Yeah. Even with the colors, like everything. Yeah. That's pretty smart. I had an amazing baseball game like that where it was just with the lights... Uh, yeah. yeah, and you had one person pitching and one person batting, and you could sit there and play it. If I ever found that machine again, that would be a serious tech bucket list for me. Yeah, because it was fun. You could play it on the ferry. You could do whatever you wanted, oh, and it, it, it. again. There we go. 
<laughs> What's that? I was feeding back them their own chat oh. window. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> this is what you all are saying. <laughs> yes, yes. If you couldn't see it on your own screen. It's the LED hand. Yeah, it is. <laughs> But I think that would be a really good one for somebody to do is a, a good hockey with the right number of players. Um, what you're showing me in Draconian with everybody on the screen, I don't see why it's not possible because you would also have a limit. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not a programmer. So I'm like, yeah. it's totally possible. You should just do it. Like, <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. Come get on. Worth it. Make a thing happen. I can wait. I'm here for an hour. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> play mappy music, I supposed to say. <gasps> oh, you should totally play the mappy music. Okay. <laughs> Let's play the mappy music. We got time. Sweet. We're not in a rush. Okay, let me load it on here. Uh, Activision's ice hockey. Yeah, I mean, we were playing that, right? Yeah, but it's it's like a two-on-two -two pickup game, and one of your yeah. guys is always sitting around waiting <laughs> to get beat up. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, that game requires serious strategy on where... Like, if you're coming up ice, you need to decide when it switches players. You need to make sure your guy is not away from the net or in a position that he can maybe score. Like, there's... It's it's, stra it's a different type of game. Yeah, it's it's, it's very thing. Cool. And it's very fun to play. Yeah. Um... Uh, the computer does not put up much of a fight in that game if you're playing one player. I got to a point where I could beat the computer 19 to nothing. Oh, jeez. And, and my, goal, um, my goal was to be able to do that every time, and I was dissatisfied. If, if the computer scored, I would literally mulligan it every time. <laughs> that is funny. So... Yeah, not so fun. I mean, yeah. AI is difficult, especially that type of game. Oh, yeah, but, but I mean, like, even, even if you were only controlling like like one character yeah and the the other the other people on your team were just designed to pass to you at a certain time like if it was if if it was sort of open right right and with the varying speeds like 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 I think there'd probably be a ton to work out but sorry <laughs> oh, that's okay just setting it up so I it looks this nice minutes. for Mappy. Mappy had a sequel, didn't it, called Mappy Land? Oh, yes, it did. Which yes, I think was an NES title. Yes, it was. I think that was more of a platformer, was it? Like a, It was different. Like right? a more open world, maybe? I, I can't remember it. Yeah, it was a sandbox game. <laughs> it was a sandbox <laughs> game. Not that kind of open world, but like no. a scrolling one or something. Wouldn't that be amazing? You're like... Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. So now onto the story. Like that's amazing music for the twenty six hundred. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Um, I'm sorry. Volume. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Terry. Messing with the volume and. And, and the bar came right across. I'm like, I can't see. Where are my trampolines? <laughs> and I also love how you're, um, uh, you can't be damaged in mid-flight by them. Yes. That's, that's like the safe zone. Well, kind of safe because you'll break the trampoline. Oh, if... oh, the door. Don't... <laughs> you close your door on yourself. <laughs> when I first played this game, I had barely ever played this and people were like, you suck. You don't know how to play this game. I, I, I will reiterate, I don't claim to have any super skill at this game, but, but I enjoy but you know, it. You know how everything works, yes. which is good. So this is Ice, Ice Posta's uh, handiwork. The, it's uh, brilliant. Get that cat. Get that Mona Lisa for bonus points. There you go. Because if you get the same match... Ah! Whoa. Oh, wow, that was really close. That was not part of the game plan. <laughs> and ah. if you look, the, the graphics on this, the detail of them is unbelievable. The, the gameplay is arcade quality. Like, yeah. like there, there's this is amazing. <laughs> and it's got all the bonus levels. We're collecting the balloons and stuff. Yeah. It's got everything. It is absolutely perfect. I uh, I would love to see a more detailed version. Speaking of cutesy kind of Atari games like this, yeah, of Puyan. Yeah, I mean Puyan did come out for the twenty six hundred. Oh yes, it did. Yeah, it, it could Agreed. be made better. That's for sure. It I, was it, pretty blocky. 
and it, it lacked certain details of uh, certain game details and stuff that oh. made the game so cute, right? Because you had the other two pigs pulling your pulley. Oh yeah, yeah, right? that's right. Um, ooh, nice move. Thanks. Oh, oh. Yeah, and it didn't have that. It didn't even have pulley. It was just like going up just and up down. It. Which I, I expected, right, when yeah. I got it. Like, because even as a kid, I knew that it wasn't going to be an, an arcade experience, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, I suppose just did the sound in the in Mappy. He's he's the sound wizard. He didn't program this. Oh, okay. Um, Still, it's great. Yeah, like, the this sound is. is this is made by um, a group or one person, but it's kind of a. It's always these big ones are group efforts because there's so much work. Oh yeah. Um, this is made by Champ Games. Uh, John Champo. Oh okay. Oh. Um, and he's made some of the some big titles. Uh, <gasps> balloons! Get those balloons! This is not unlike that, uh... Uh... Wow, the name's gone already, I just played it. Uh, the Ninja game Oh, Wall played. Jump Ninja. Yeah. This is very not like a Wall Jump Ninja? No, no, no it's, it, it's not unlike. Oh, you mean, yeah. Because, because... It's got jumping. Yeah, except you have to use the trampoline to do it, but... So the same person that made these two Very games. nice. Super Cobra Arcade and Scramble. Super Cobra. I forgot about that. Very good conversions. Like, amazing. Yeah. They're both horizontal scrolling games, which is hard to do on the 2600. This may sound like a random question, it's but there seems like, like no more appropriate time to ask it. Yeah. Um, the... Do you remember a game called Kickman? Yes. Where you're a clown and you're balancing things on your head, and then eventually oh, you start yes. balancing Pac-Mans and ghost yes, monsters that's on right. your head. And they eat down yeah. stuff on your head. Yes, I do remember that. That Did would it... be very easy to make on the 2600. And it didn't come out for the 2600, oh, I'm not no. mistaken, right? No. I think they thought it was too difficult to make, or I don't know. Because it's all vertical. Like. Yeah, but you had, you had to pick from right or, your right or left foot to, 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 to kick, kick up. up. Oh, that'd be super easy to make. On the 2600 because it's everything's vertical and, and there's at most there's only two things right R right ah uh, ah uh. oh. oh where's that's... my catnip oh there's a work in progress of kickman about 10 years ago there is a homebrew version oh. of kickman. oh interesting cool thanks or 15 years <laughs> i'll play one round i love how your oh. cat i love how your cat's in here to watch the you cat. got a high score nice oh like, serious high score so there oh, you go. Awesome. Because this does remember high scores. I think. Oh, well, remembered my name, so you do have a limited time. <laughs> and I did talk to the programmer about that limited time. He may extend it, but uh, I think he's trying to make it, make it exactly the length that the arc. Where's the voice recognition? Oh, oh. There you go. Well, actually, that was long enough. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> I cannot guarantee I will do as well, but I will try. Mm, trampolines are gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Watch over that joke. Oh, nope. Is there like five cats in that group? I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I feel like you're getting mobbed. <laughs> well, at least they're not spread out, I guess. Yeah. But like. Get off my ass. The, the most famous two games for making you think there's one bad guy when there's a bunch is um, right after the they meet level of Pac-Man when the two ghosts travel down together and you're kind of coming outside all of a sudden, surprise, there's the orange one who's like <laughs> oh, pops yes. out or oh or in Dig Dug. Sometimes you think one's oh, following you. That's the worst. And the there's other one just kills two, you. And there's like, they're a group and you say, oh, there's only two there. No, there's three. Yeah, you can you can tell with the Figars, but not with the Pukas. Yeah, they group very well. Oh god, damn it! You know what I just remembered about this game that I forgot? You can open the door onto them, even the ones that don't have the sound waves, and it knocks them over. It stuns yes. them. I forgot about that. You do have to have really good um, timing with that, though. Yeah. So you have to open it when they're at a certain point. Okay. Oh, I hate oh. that because you never know, right? He could decide. They have like instant uh, ability to like follow you. I right. believe. 
I don't know if they have like a little delay that... It's almost like you have to wait to see who yeah. fires first. Woo! Oh, well played. Yeah, I was waiting for it. Where's my last one? There it is. Oh, oh well. I'll go up this way. One strategy is to go up there early and, and kill that trampoline, bounce it out, and then oh. it disappears. Will it stay? Um, away? I think probably would. Doesn't regenerate. It, it was just an idea. I would I would think it because I know uh, once you get off a trampoline that's almost dead, it regenerates back to green. Because it has to. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's like okay, we have no trampolines left. Well, Everyone's once you stranded. blow it, it's probably gone forever. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Bubbles, bubbles. You got to get bubbles. <laughs> oh my god! Now I'm not gonna make it. Now I'm definitely not gonna make it. Terrible. You're not gonna make it. Terrible. No, you didn't make it. It's got all the interstitial music. It's got all I the was graphic. just noticing that. Like, yeah. This is super advanced. <laughs> because now that... Oh, 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 got him. When he hides, you can... Uh, it's gonna blow the wrong get way. The, yeah. yeah, I know. Oh, they look at them all timed up. There you go. <laughs> Wrong way. Oh well, maybe I'll take out a cap. Nope! <laughs> These levels get hard because you can't <gasps> see past a certain amount of Yeah, time. exactly. And you're like, I don't know, I might die. Probably will, because yeah. those cats will have to get on the same level as you. Like, you can't stay on the same level for very long. Yeah. And oh, one of the... that That's kind of like real life, though, isn't it? It's like, you can't see what's behind that door. Nope. Right? Like... Ooh, I made it. Wow. You, you've almost beat my score. Woohoo! I think the biggest advancement recently for 2600 homebrews is the amount of characters on the same line while still looking good. Yeah! Um, but, like, the, the, um, um, the doors yeah. already flicker as part of their effect. Anyway, yeah. right? They, Those just... are drawn a little differently with not sprites. Oh, okay. Um, I believe those would be drawn with, like, um, the, probably the ball, actually. So, oh, so basically the doors are just, uh... Just um, part of the scenery. Changing color, yeah. basically, yeah. Where, what am I doing? Where, where's the last one? To the right. Oh, God. Wow. Send me down five men. Fifth level. Fifth level. No, probably one. You, be, you trashed my score. You're into the oh, high scores. One, yeah. One per, oh, there it is. Yeah, it was right up at the top left. Yeah, or top right. Sorry. Hooray. Yeah. Um, the really cool thing is with the flicker, right? They get uh, a little bit lighter, right? Yeah. Um, but what somebody figured out a couple years ago was that all you do to defeat that. So hard at this level is to make the colors darker, and so it appears lighter. It appears the same color. So oh, it's the compensation. Yes, so it compensates for it. So if they did that in the original Pac-Man, um, it wouldn't be as bad because they would it would equal out a little bit. From what I had understood, okay. a lot of oh no, Ooh, you are just wow. fine. You got your timing too. That was miraculous. Oh. Yeah. This is definitely... Damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> no! I, I forgot there. you could hide up there. Um, hide? I think they go up there, too. Oh, no, for sure, but like... But you... You, there's a passage. Right, so if you had five cats on that level, you could sit up there for a second and jump back down? Yeah. Okay. That's true. Let's see if I can do it competently this time. That was terrible. There you go. Yeah. No, it's, it's not hard, it's just I wasn't thinking. There you go. Oh, I think I fucked up. No, you should be okay, because you got blue to yellow, and then, there you go. Uh, I think I might right. Oh, time, time. yeah. But maybe not. It, I think it gives you, like, one mess up. So, so I think, uh... This, the <laughs> music, music totally sets this apart. It's, 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 as it's like great. As, the as game like experience. More advanced yeah. Game. You need all that, yeah. Oh, Luma Boost. There's an official name for uh, it. 
When a sprite flickers, it's done slightly brighter. And this is where I die, for sure. Oh, there's a bell. I can't remember what that does. Ring that bell. Okay. Ah, that's what it ah. does. Nice. Oh, I'll waste that one. Uh, I I realize that what I'm proposing here would be <laughs> probably would be considered no. would be considered a hack. Okay. Uh, yes. But I would love to see a Mr. Dude Dig Dug crossover. Hmm. Interesting. Where you've got the cherries and stuff like that, and if oh, you're playing head through. to head, one of you could be Mr. Do, and one of you. Oh yeah. Or one can pump things up. Actually, they yeah. Do they both pump? Up? No. 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 Mr. Do shoots. He shoots a ball, but the ball has to come back to him before he can shoot oh. again. Wow, so you would, would have to work cooperatively. Really. Right, because for many for enemies that were right in your face, you would need a dig dug to hold them off while you got your ball back. That'd be, it'd be too hard on the twenties. Maybe you could do it because of the the intelligent flicker, because you would have two players. Yay! Nice. Not my highest score, but not bad for not playing it. You pushed me off the leaderboard, oh, wow. so I'm gonna have to try and try and okay, get one on. more game for yeah. you. Oh, no, that's what I asked him to do. If you could make it faster when you hold down the direction to scroll oh. through the letters faster. Because right now it's like chunk. ZPH is you, eh? Chunk. Zero page home. Oh, right. Makes sense. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's just easier. Hi, kitty. What's with oh, this man. trampoline? I love the question mark. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It's like, it's like what, dude, I don't why know are what you... he's questioning. Like, like, why are you even here? He's a mouse... <laughs> He's a mouse cop. Rescuing Mona Lisa's from a, a cat burglary ring. Yeah. And he's questioning a trampoline. Why is there a trampoline in this base? <laughs> yeah, why do these cats get around on trampolines instead of elevators or stairs? Because it's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose it says, wow, thanks for playing. I meant let him hear the three channel music. Well, <laughs> it's I could not not let you play the game. Oh, yeah. Well, you do get quite a leeway, eh? Yeah. Oh, three cats. Good job. Thanks. Yeah, this is supposed to come out in um, two months at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, so I should come back with a nice boxed copy of this nice. game. Because they're just finishing up the title screen right now. That's the other question I have about uh, homebrews. Yeah. And how they relate to... Um, Emulators. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Is um is emulating off of somebody's hard working homebrew? Is that like napstering it basically? Is it like 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 does it hurt the artist or the developer? Like is is it frowned upon? Um, most of the most of the developers release um, work in progress versions of oh, the games. Oh, okay. Um, for people to play test, um, to just have fun with it just and and see how it's going um so they're totally fine with you playing those on emulators okay um but they would like to be supported of course yeah um surprisingly that's not really an issue there's such oh. a, a core if you want to do that fast you bounce against the wall okay to break through anyway um because there's a really hardcore oh no amount of, oh no yeah you're dead. <laughs> There's some people who just buy everything that comes out. Like, I have a ton of box copies. Right. Of I games. mean, our generation loves physical copies of things when feasible, right? That's, yes. Yeah. Um, yes, Thrust put it perfectly. We want developers to... We, we developers want our games to be played. Awesome. Sales are secondary. And, and to be honest, they're not getting rich anytime soon off of these games. No, no, the, of, the uh, of course not. The number of sales are maybe in the hundreds? For really, uh, oh nice, oh good catch. For really big games, twelve hundred times two, you are going to beat my score <laughs> based on these combos alone. <laughs> um, oh you found them, nice. Wow, just racking it up. Um, so they don't sell many, um, and a lot of um, ones that do hacks and release them on carts, they do them in like. 20. They'll release 20 of them. Ah. Or something. Um, and some of them release um, limited numbers of boxed copies, but then they'll release just the, 
carts on their own. Okay. For cheaper. Usually the carts go for $25 to $35 alone for 2600 games. And box copies go from 40 to 65 Some Okay. Some bonus stuff in them, like yeah. nice instructions or a poster. Those in the upper end. Oh, you're not going to be my score doing this. <laughs> what, having cats follow me directly on every single bounce? <laughs> That is a problem. Although, I can't blame it on the cats. I'm the one who puts myself in that position, right? I mean, you're coming into their base with no backup, no gun. <laughs> right. I mean... And you're, you're a mouse, and they eat you. You're kind of foolish. You're not even sneaking around. You're, like, playing this loud music and... <laughs> doo -doo -doo, bouncing on their trampolines. But, yeah. Um, some some developers keep it, keep it under wraps. I don't know. <laughs> and they don't release anything until, like, it goes on cartridge and there's no ROMs ever. Ah. There's a couple games like that. Actually, there's only one off the top of my head, um, which is Balderdash. Okay. But that was done in conjunction with the rights holder to Balderdash. Like the board game Balderdash? Not Balderdash. Uh Boulder Dash. Oh, uh, Boulder Dash. Where you dig around and boulder Oh, Boulder... And... Oh, my boulder goodness. <laughs> let's, just, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, we'll it's a live that from the archive. Yeah, thanks. Version of this show. <laughs> it's, like, um, it's like, okay, Corey, you want to be a veterinarian because you love children. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, because First Star Software, it was made in conjunction, so they're like, they're old school and they're thinking, like make money we can't give this out for free how are we gonna make money off of this yeah um like this like those ads for the cd club in the 90s we're getting killed by this internet <laughs> i love that right. fucking ad oh sorry <laughs> potty mouth no that's fine <laughs> allowed one swear an hour awesome <laughs> i'm right on target um, yeah so most of them i think that's the only one that i can think of um, yeah, they chastised me when I played this game first, and they're like, you're not, you're not opening, you can open any door in advance. Like, you have telekinesis yeah. in this game, which is also super weird. That you the have telekinetic mouse cop. I think yeah. we can probably have suspended our reality a while ago, though. <laughs> I think so. I'm just saying. <laughs> Mice jumping on trampol trampolines. Yeah. It's all one big drug trip. <laughs> I think so. Most games in the 80s are like that. They've yeah. Oh, Super Mario took it to a whole new level, though, with, his, oh, with yeah. throwing in the mushrooms. Actually eating mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And different colors of mushrooms. We paid hefty money for each copy to um, First Star Software. Um, ah. Thrust was part of the development team of Boulder Dash. Um, so, yeah, they, they First Star Software wanted money off of each of that. So it was probably... The developers probably didn't make like a dollar wow. <laughs> copy or something, but yeah, they wouldn't want to make give it away for free if they're yeah. making money, and it's like licensing fee. But anyway, yeah, all these developers on twenty six hundred are in it for just for fun. Oh, oh, he dropped down from the ceiling. That's where they come from. That's where they make cats. That's where they make cats. <laughs> <laughs> the ceiling of the mansion. Use the bell. Oh, bad move. Wow. I find and that, that folks, is the anticlimax. Yeah. He did pretty good, though. I think I got back on the board. Oh, for sure you're on the yeah. board. Yeah. You're in level 8. I think my high score is level 9. Ooh, you did beat my last game. So you did do what you set out to do by 100 points. Whatever you did in the last, <laughs> last moment got you there. I died in the last one. <laughs> I got no points. I literally rolled Just into... Right into a guy. Yeah. Aw, kitty. <laughs> right. Oh. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the bonus game. That was awesome. It, it, it was awesome yeah. to play a remade version of a title I was familiar with to add on to the other one. I really enjoyed all the games. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was playing games that are like finished games. I wasn't yeah. even thinking about work in progress games because that would have been Right in line yeah. with the stuff that you liked. Yeah. yeah. All this in 32K. Oops. This message is more than 32K. <laughs> that is funny. Yep. <laughs> well, maybe not more than 32K. <laughs> I would have uh, 
still would have been able to get a lot of those onto those very first thumb drives that were like 32 <laughs> megabytes. You're like, wow, so many documents. <laughs> <laughs> so many floppy disks I could have fit on this. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> I remember doing doing a, a science project yeah. in grade six with like five and a quarter inch disks as the subject. Oh. I love it. <laughs> We're analyzing how it stored the data yeah. and stuff. Very cool. But but not really in depth. In a grade five or six sort of way. Level. My Psycho. parents helped me. It this uses is... magnets. Yes. <laughs> and this is all part of magnetism. <laughs> Invisible rays of magnetism. <laughs> have been known to have health benefits. No. <laughs> uh, well, it does something. <laughs> what were those bracelets that they proved had absolutely no... Uh, no value whatsoever. I, st I still see people wearing them. Those, those kind of U-shaped magnets with, with the, the balls, balls on the end. Yeah, you still see. Hey, you know, if it does something mentally for them and makes them happier in their life, yeah. it has a great placebo effect. Yes, uh, and placebo, placebo is real. Yeah, the, the placebo, placebo effect is not to be underestimated. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, however, um, there's this placebo effect and there's making people. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the it does. The, it's a good indicator of you know. If you're not exploiting it, then it's fine. I mean, right? Like for people, that's like the big problem. You, you don't want to turn people into fools, right? Yeah. But for the placebo effect to work, most of the time you have to convince them that it does have an effect. Well, well, there's there's but there's a the sin problem. of omission, and then there's a lying to somebody about what it does. And that's usually what they do. They they cross that line and say, "Oh, it'll help with this, help yeah. with that," and then. It will prevent those people from seeking out real treatments. Yeah. And that's the big crime. Yeah. Of that. Anyway, way off topic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's just not enough room for a soapbox in here. Yes. <laughs> 32 megs are way enough for all 2,600 yeah. games and hacks existing. Yeah, I don't think I'll run out of room on my uh, one gig. You're out of focus one gig. Yeah, cover, <laughs> there we go. Cover your face. There we go. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I'll ever run out of room on this old one gig card. Mm -hmm. That's why I use it. It's plenty fast enough for reading and plenty of room. I bought an older digital camera because it had an amazing uh, macro lens. It was like a, as a Nikon. Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, this is awesome. It's a few lower megapixels, but I'm going to go have some fun with this. Pop in my SD card. What? SDHC? <laughs> Would be this. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, do I have any original SD cards that I'm picking through? And I'm like, I had to order them. I said, you can still order oh. them from Amazon, right? Well, because people have those cameras that you know, require them. There's no other way to... What was to... the largest size that you could get? Two is the largest you can put in it. Two gigs? Yeah, because uh, four is SDHC. I, yeah, because I guess... But based on that camera's pixel amount per picture it's probably tons yeah it, it, it's it's still eight megapixels and if i'm shooting in macro i'm fine with that i'm not doing a lot of cropping right yeah anyway, and it's yeah. probably not doesn't shoot in raw it's all jpeg compressed stuff probably so yeah so yeah. it's going to be totally fine 32 megs or 32 aka kilobytes what i don't know what they're talking about now 32 <laughs> megabytes or 32 kilobytes i was joking about 32 megabytes <laughs> yeah on a flash drive but 32 yeah, that's kilobytes way yeah. Too low. yeah 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 like, I don't know what the smallest one. I have really old ones in the closet there. I don't know why I'm keeping them. But for like things like this. For your museum know. when you get older, yes. That's right. Uh, well, um, For my distribution of my homebrew game. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it on the less D cards. There you go. <laughs> I feel like um, I feel like thrust point might be that I was joking about a 32 megabyte hard drive, but that would be way than, way enough to for all 2600 games and hacks existing, right? Oh, so yeah. it's there's still a use to that uh, flash drive. Because yeah. the... the normal size of a game in the 80s on a 2600 was four kilobytes mm -hmm. <laughs> like oh i saw the other day um people were printing out uh somebody put on there like um how to store a video game like on a piece of paper it was all like dots oh because, crazy because if you do 4k and do like the square root of it like across and down yeah it's not that big and you could do like a picture of it and distribute your like game. Like the old computers. Yeah. Using the holes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like almost like a punch card. Or like those, <laughs> those things that some people use still. Like you do a picture with your, your phone and it goes to a website. Yeah. I can't remember what they're called right now. Because they're so deprecated. Hardly anybody uses them. But do that as the distribution system for 
your video game. Of course, you'd have to make a piece of software to read that and translate it into right. But that a sounds like file. a hobbyist kind of thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah. A, it's a fun thing. If I yeah. ever make a game, which I will, I yeah. have a, a folder full of like 20, um, 2600 games that I have in progress. Like they're all doable, right. like fairly simple ones, but fun, addictive games. I'll 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 put that piece of paper in with no explanation. Oh, that's awesome! Just just like yep. a, a bunch of dots. And then anyone who knows, like, yep, can digitize it and change it over. It's like when you used to get a magazine with a flexi disc inside. <laughs> that's right. So, yeah. What's this? You put play your record player. Actually, relating back to video games, they did put those flexi discs in magazines with code on them because back in the day you could load games off of off of cassette tapes you remember that oh my vic 20 the data yeah. set yeah and all it was was sound yeah so they distributed games on flexi disc that you would hook off of hook into from your record Record player onto a cassette right into your computer no you didn't even need to oh. go into the cassette because it's just line outs from cassettes into your computer so you went straight from the record player into the computer that's right. loading a game off of a record crazy yeah and they also used to broadcast on the radio games over the radio and programs so you would record record it off the radio i hope there wasn't any interference that put a yeah. blip in the wrong place because <laughs> yeah. it sounds the same yeah much. right <laughs> yeah so tune in very clearly first before yeah. starting to record but there's like really unique distribution methods for games back in the day like that so those are two of them that's that's wicked <laughs> yeah so we've ran over normal time but that's okay oh. you know we're not beholden to anyone yeah cassettes not discs what <laughs> hmm? discs yeah cassette cassette tapes yeah uh, video yeah games were distributed on cassette tapes actually atari 2600 has an add-on um oh now the name's escaping me crocodile carts no that was one of them that was like an old a newer version right of uh, star star path supercharger was the thing and it would plug into the cassette port it had ram the cassette port uh the, the cartridge, cartridge oh, yeah. port yeah uh, it would pr plug into the cartridge port it had ram on it and it had a line in on the top of it and games were distributed on cassettes Oh. And it would feed into it, and you'd have a game off of a cassette. I... And Star Pass Supercharger. Yeah. And it would be big games, like way, like 32K, I believe. Wow. Um, so way more advanced than anything that it was on cartridge because it was way cheaper. You bought the Star Pass Supercharger once, and then the games were on cassette, and they were like five bucks. Right. Or whatever. That's Super awesome. Super cheap. Yeah. That, um... I think there's 12 games made like that. When I when I own my Vic Twenty, uh, somewhere I've probably still got packed in with like my keeper stuff, yeah. um, uh, a cassette case for the game Galactic Blitz, which is kind of a Galaga clone for yeah. uh, uh, the Vic Twenty. Yeah. And I remember loading games off that. And I remember programming games in Basic out of Compute Magazine. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. And then going to run them, and they didn't run Error. because they misprinted something in the magazine uh, yeah because when they misprinted it was always syntax error <laughs> and you're like this uh, is exactly what was typed the same line who's 20. editing your magazine and then you could either figure it out on your own and figure out what the error was and, and fix it yeah or just go i don't know the harder ones were typing in the assembly code ones because you couldn't fix those we all started typing in games yep yeah. we all did <laughs> yeah um but then they had like uh an error corrector checker at the end, it was like the last entry matched against that, so you couldn't accidentally type in the wrong one. Oh. But sometimes they'd still type in a wrong code, and that still wouldn't help. Well, ought, to be honest, can you imagine you're you're an editor of a major magazine, and all of a sudden you've, you've fallen poorly with your employer, and instead of firing you because they can't fire you because you're good at your job, they're like, what can we have you edit? <laughs> Compute magazine. No. <laughs> Do you know anything about computers? No. Good. Good. You're working on the game of the month typing in things. Yes. I don't know what this gibberish is. And hence, errors. <laughs> yeah, Impaler 74. Yep, typing in games on the C64 was fun. Sometimes. I would say half of them gave errors. Yep. And, and then I'd you'd have to so. wait for the next month's magazine to give the update. The correction. 
We're sorry, line 24 on the game Blah, Space Shooter, <laughs> should have read... And you wouldn't have you, you wouldn't have even had a, a BBS community to consult. You would have had nothing back yeah. then. Yeah, you just have to wait for next month's magazine. Yeah. I'm just going to go upstairs and watch Facts of Life. <laughs> Tootie will soothe me. Oh, Natalie. That's... <laughs> You're so funny. Yeah. Uh, there's Music Compy, The Winner with Shades by Chris Holzbeck. Type in was several update up pages of hex. Took me two days to type in. Somebody's on their phone. The, I was, I was going to say, the irony of our subject matter and yes. the amount of typos is amazing. <laughs> yes. That's so Those funny. double dots, are they called umlauts? Is that, no, umlauts. Um, the, umlaut. The, the umlaut. umlaut. Yeah. Oh, no. Is that the other thing? I think it looks like a ring. No. Uh, yeah, I think it is the dots, though. Yeah. Uh, he's European, obviously. There we go. And I believe German. That was a 64 magazine. I got Ahoy. For Commodore 64. That was the magazine I, I subscribed to. Cool. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> and uh, knowing is half the battle. Yes, yeah, 64 er. Um, so that's it for this show, I think. We're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks and, for having me. Yeah, no problem. And um and checking out some games we've already checked out, but they're all fun games and fun to watch. And um, yeah. we will be back. Uh, not tomorrow. Usually we do Fridays, but we pushed it because I'm on a film set tomorrow doing some film stuff. And, and Corey was here today, so I thought, oh, perfect. We'll just move to Thursday. Cool. So I think we'll be back next Wednesday at 7 p.m. I'm just going to confirm that. One second. Oh, Thomas Yen has actually replied. Okay. Yeah, on the... Uh, yeah, 29th. Is that next Wednesday? Yeah, 29th at 7, that sounds right. 7 p.m. Myself and Tanya will be here, and we will be doing going for a 100% run on Blinky Goes Up. We're going to try and finish the game. Cool. All six levels. And it should, shouldn't should be too bad. We got to level three, um, but we got past a really hard part, so I think we'll be okay. And then on the Friday show, we're going to be doing participating in the Star Castle Arcade last day of the homebrew tournament, trying to get a high score. Cool. Move our way up, but it's, it's too hard. It's, too hard. <laughs> it's deadly. You'll oh. never get it with an attitude like that. Uh, probably not, even with a good attitude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Some some type-in code. Oh. Thrust 26. Thanks for sharing. That brings back memories. It does. <laughs> I would have my sister read them out as I type them in, so it would be go a little bit that's, faster. That's very unfortunate. It is. Yeah. She seemed to like it. That's cool. Yeah. If she's into it, that's good family time. Yeah. Because yeah. it provided her a uh, way to hang out with me. Yeah. Because there, there was a six-year difference, so that was true. very yeah. difficult. I'm an only child, so I have no relation point to that, right? So, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's it for us until next, uh, Wednesday at 7 PM. Thanks for hanging out and, uh, make sure you subscribe and do all the clicking on all the bells and all the clicking and all the things and the things and that over to there down there and the yeah. sharing to the social media. <laughs> do all that. You yeah. guys know how to do that. I don't need to explain it to you. You're all very smart people, but, uh, we'll see you next time on zero page homebrew. Bye-bye.